But your your fan also a good amount because it's so much closer than it normally is. That's better than what it's been, yeah. so. Okay, that's yeah. loud. Check. Yeah, not next, maybe not next to that. Maybe down here behind I, the thing. I'm used to it still being up there. You know that, right? As we still do it right now. No one's fucking watching right now. Seven. Seven people watching. We're not live right now, are Apparently we? Apparently we're live now. Now we're live. Why aren't we live now? On accident. Hold on, they'll see us. They'll see us. There, there we go. Now that that's what they can see, but they can hear. They can hear? They can hear, but that's what they see. We'll be right back. Where are you going? Dan just ran away. Oh, that was your sandwich mm -hmm. you had me go pick up. Uh huh. We got a $20 sandwich. Apparently. I think she tacked on like an extra 12 inch or something. There's no way that math was right. There's no way in hell. I don't know. The price is says like, ah, no. all right, here you go, man. Can this happen first? Maybe. I'm just gonna throw pretzels at you until it happens. I got about half a bag. Oh, some more high west. You want to start with? I started the bottom. Is that rendezvous? Rendezvous that cheap shit. Why do you have two rendezvous? Rendezvous is not cheap. Double rise the cheapest. What's that store pick? Double rise, then rendezvous. You have so much fucking high west in here. You have a real fucking issue. Mm -hmm. Is this right and pricey? Least to most? Um, probably, yeah. I don't know, we start this a minute early. I don't think they deserve it. <laughs> we in it. We are in it. <clears throat> Welcome back. Oh. What are we looking at here? You sure you changed it? No. We'll see. Okay. See? Let me uh, put the chat in a different little window here so I can see you guys. Welcome back. I need a drink. Everybody's like, are you guys going to start on time? And I'm like, one minute early, bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
It's so, exactly 9 o'clock right now. I know, but I started it a minute ago. So here we are. What is going on, everybody? We're the Bourbon Junkies. Welcome back to another Tuesday night live stream. 9 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Central. Yep. 6 p.m. Pacific. You wouldn't go 7 p.m. Mountain and then That's 6 p.m.? Nobody lives in the mountain. Uh, I mean... Not a single human being. Maybe Bigfoot. Colorado? Well, it's not mountain time. Oh my gosh, there's something like I, dude. Okay. I actually don't know who all is mountain time. Nobody in America. Because Texas has Pacific and Central. Hmm. We don't have a mountain. Hmm. Welcome to geography class, dude. So, thanks everybody for being in the chat already. Okay, we live in Michigan and we somehow are our eastern time zone. Huh. Okay. We're almost east coast. Um, <laughs> we get Remember driving to Maine? And how awful that was? Yes. Yeah, that that's East Coast, bud. Dude, I just want this. There we go. That's what I wanted. We drove all, all the right. way to Maine and stayed in the same time zone. Huh. All right. So, thank you, everybody, for being in chat. I see Pressman and Alex, Chris from Bourbon Saint. I saw Jason from Mash and Drum, Linux Cat, David Hatton, Moe's Chung, Carl H., Scott from My Bourbon Journey, Nathan Roos, DJ Beacon, Jeffrey Wack, everybody ever in the chat. All right? And we appreciate that. Tonight... As most of you probably know, you're going to be drinking High West and talking High West and doing High West types of things. Dave's so, never been more excited. This is the greatest night in whiskey history in this bowl barn. God, that's trash. A paddle? What are you doing? No, it's not. It's not. This is the 17 version, 2017. I'm going to just say that about everything I drink tonight. So, Dave Bruce said, hey all, I'm on time for once in my life. Us too. Welcome to the party. We're both yeah. doing the damn thing. So, Jason said he just poured some Wild Turkey 101. That is an interesting choice. We're getting into High West, dude. And in my opinion, I wonder if I think Double Rye. I, in my opinion, Double Rye beats the next Wild Turkey 101 Rye, but I love myself some Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Wild Turkey is a wildly different Rye, though. Wildly different profile. Here's the thing. I want to wait till a few more. People are trickling in right now. I gotta wait. Sean has anxiety because he's been waiting for something because that he found the other day that I wouldn't let him see. But exactly. I'm kind of hoping a couple, pip, uh, like one person, maybe two people, maybe three people pop in chat so they can see it. So we may have to wait till we see a couple new names. Is it Chris? In the meantime, Brandon? no. No, that Brandon. would be two people. Okay. Way more than two. You said three, maybe three. That's more than two. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the open Smoke Whiskey Reviews in the chat. What up? Um, man, we just got a bunch of people popping in here. What is going on, everybody? Thanks for Good hanging thing. out. Thanks for joining us tonight. So let's do it. Let's talk about some High West. High West Distillery out of Utah, um, known for blending, sourcing blending. Um, they don't really do, they, they have their own stuff. They're starting to implement their own stuff into some of their bottles, not all of them. Um, I'm a fan. Now, you're the biggest fangirl of High West. That I'm I not know. a small. I'm not the smallest fangirl. Let's put it that Both way. in size and your stature. Oh wow! I was just hurtful. I meant like your your size of a fan is very large, <laughs> and then you yourself are very large too. So, <laughs> you know. All right. So, let's get into as you all know, High West Distillery. Um, like Sean's telling you, one of my favorites. One of my favorite distilleries. I own. A lot of bottles all, all of them. that are High West. I minus, happen to also own. Minus their... Um, Valley Tan. Mm -hmm. And I'm not buying the white bullshit. No, what's that 21-year-old one? Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. Right? I don't own that. Mash and Drum. Jason says, I'm about to have some High West Midwinter Nights Dram with you. Damn, dude, damn right. Listen, listen, listen. It's the only one One I'll of tolerate. the greatest whiskeys <clears throat> ever made known to man. Hands down, bar none. Ruin a price range or two. Get rid of everything. Dude, there's not even a restriction on my statement. Great, One of the greatest whiskeys ever made. That's We're going to start the po or not podcast. We're going to start this off just like that. With some blasphemy. All right, that's cool. So. You do you, man. You do you. Any, Mike C says, any Rocky Mountain Rye 16 or 21. Nope. If somebody wants to sell me a Rocky Mountain Rye. He'll give his left. 16 or 21 for a reasonable price. I won't pay full secondary. They're outrageous. Yeah, it is. Um, everyone, anybody wants to get me one of those? 
for as a gift at above retail and below secondary. I His would birthday's cons- in May. So. I would consider the gift of me paying still over retail, but below secondary. So um, one of the reasons I like them, one of the reasons they're such a great distillery, uh, outside of the blending, the ability, the skill set, the beauty in the bottles. I was going to say that cool ass bottle. Um, their incredible store pick uh, bottlings. Um, is their website. So their website is actually one of the most open and honest websites like when it comes to origin, when it yep. comes to age, when it comes to how they think you should drink it, what it was what its intended purpose is. Um, overall transparency is a really big thing. Yeah. Um, so especially when you have blended huge, whiskey. Yeah. Huge. And especially when it's all for a long time it was all, all sorts. Blended, yeah. I wanna grab this one actually. Okay. Okay, you do you. I don't know what he's grabbing. American How American. many fucking bottles of High West are in this garage? I don't know, like 10 or 12 or something? I don't know, a I lot. Well, actually, that's a low side There's guess. two more midwinters over there I forgot about. It's called 15. It's called a lot. All right, so, Peter White, Dan just picked up two dusty High West Rendezvous Rise Barrel Select from 2015 cast strength Hungarian Oak Fizz. Mm. Oh, gosh. Wait. Oh, open both of them and chug them, dude. Isn't what this is? Yes. Then? That's yeah. a 17, it's not yeah. a 15. That this is a 2017 Hungarian oak finish, and it is one of my favorite ryes on the shelf. Yeah. It is also, what's the proof? It's higher than uh, normal rendezvous. 4.2. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's so damn good. Which is, oh, I don't know what normal is. Yeah, okay, so it's 6% higher. Um, no, 8% higher. Wow, 46. Yeah. Yep. Give my reading spectacles on. Uh, Ryan Ellis is not a hater, but not did not enjoy the Midwinter Night's Dram at 6, scene 6 all that much. It was just solid. So... I'm not saying Act 6 was the best ever. Dan will defend them all. Now. To the death. Act 4 and 5 are incredible, and Act 6 is just really good. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. 6 was the first year that they put their own whiskey in Midwinter Night's Dram. Did it uh, make it bad? Act 6. It didn't make it bad. I don't think it's as rich and as like deep and... Uh, good. Enveloping. Good. It's, it's, not, not, as good. it's not as good. No. Yeah. It's close. Mm. It's not as good. Mm. So... We're gonna start with American Prairie. I got two American Prairies here. One store pick, one non-store pick. I feel like you gotta have more than that on Road Near Zone. American, this is my least favorite of their whole line. My least favorite offering ever. Oh, you started with that? From High West. I started with this. Well, these are the cheapest ones. Mm. American Prairie is the bottom of their line and it's mm. bourbon. So, uh, oh, I for, somebody just said High West Campfire is very nice. I forgot I had that one. Right there. I forgot all about it until right now. Glad you said that. We went over the fact that you have all of them. So, not all of them, except I don't have Valley Tan. They're, they made one for like a hotel a while back that I just saw the other day on secondary. It's like two things ever. 350 bucks. I don't have that one. And I don't have Valley Tan, and I don't have the Rocky Mountains, and there are two of those. So I don't have four that I know of. And I'm not buying the white ones, the no. silvers. Those, I'm not paying $70 for white whiskey. It's a lot for white whiskey. So, William, <laughs> William Davler says, America Prairie is horrible. Sean completely agrees with you. Brandon's, Brandon's in the chat. What is going on, Brandon? How goes it? Thanks for hanging out. So, like I was talking about, one of the great things is their website. You can drink these whiskeys and then be like, I don't know if I love that. And then look at their website and be like, oh, they intended that for this. You like it? It's, bad. it's, it's young whiskey. This happens to be... You know what would destroy that? Like a 1792 small batch. <clears throat> I don't know that they're necessarily the same category. Why not? This is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Oh. Yeah, that's what small batch is. But okay. the, it's literally, you go to the website, <laughs> it says, gonna say, Wait it a says minute. how to enjoy. Great in cocktails. Great in cocktails. That's how they start this one off. It's kind of shitty to sip on. But has the complexity to stand on its own. Do you agree? As a $30 bottle? No. We'll go, I'm going to go a little nip because I actually want to get into that store pick here in a second. No. So, uh, Ryan says, yeah, I had an Act 4. I remember being much better. I Dude, I just saw an Act, Act 5 behind you? Nope. No, that's that gone. one's an Act 5. Nope, that's empty. That's sick. Well, that's weird. It looks like it says Act 5, oh, God, Act 5, so Scene happy. 3. I thought I was all out of 5. That makes me incredibly happy. Right here. I'm fully erect. I just read it, and you were like, "Not nah, Yeah, sick. but you aren't good at reading. No, tonight. as you guys will see Thursday. Um, Fucking awful at reading, actually. Uh, Peter White, same store has double ride Manhattan finish, hundred proof, thirty nine dollars. Should I be jumping on those? Can you buy me seven? No. 
Or eight. Yeah. That's the double ride that I killed already. Oh, wait. That That's one looked good. really good. That one was really good, that too. That was incredibly good. We got one from Benny's with the same finish it on it. Super fucking interesting. So good. It literally tasted like it was already a pre-made cocktail, but it was nice and proofed. But not, like, overly sweet, though. No. Like a well-made whiskey. Yeah. Okay. So, Mary and Perry says, in a cocktail, it smells a little young, really fruity. Mm -hmm. It's flat in the back end. It, on the finish? Yeah. And you're like, eh, a little something there, and it just kind of dies off super fast. Most Chun says, this is a problem. I have no high west. What is a decent substitution? How about Old Forester B.I.B.? I don't hate that substitution. The thing is, High West doesn't make a bottle and bond product, but I love Old Forester bottle and bond. Yeah. We don't have any. Ours is empty. Yeah. We we need two of them. What's a good substitution? So most of their products are rye. Yeah. If you like rye, I would substitute their rye with another rye. Maybe. Oh, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta think about this. Because I would think, I would, right off the bat, I would think this. You're going Pikesville. I would think that right off the bat. And I gotta do a little... So somebody in chat, let me read the name here. They said, uh, Marty Neary says, do you have the Utah only light whiskey? The interesting, the, the interesting part of that question is you said Utah only, and get Sean, we're, we're not in Utah. We're not in Kansas anymore. But he's got a problem. <laughs> yeah, I do. That um, wouldn't be bad. I got it up here from Utah. It wasn't a distillery only release. Here's the thing. Let's cover one thing. Brandon, pay attention. Sean, this is for you. This is for Sean. Hold on. I want everybody to see it before. I'm, I'm just trying things to try, try to remember. I hope that you can read it. It's not going to focus if I get too close. That can't be it. I'm hoping somebody can read it. If not, Sean will read it to you guys. Here you go. This is from Brandon. And Chris. Oh, so the people I said. Yep, but I couldn't tell you you were right. Oh, okay. Thank you, Brandon and Chris, for supporting the channel. That's a sealed bottle of whiskey. This is a gift bottle. You want to read it to everybody? <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't either. That's why I said. It says uh, vampire juice, invisible men only. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That happens to be an Offerman store pick, one of the ones you like. Oh, is this 63? Uh, I don't know. 61 no, 60, of them. 2, I think, was the last one that they just did. It's 61 or 2. Okay. I like 62 a lot. Yeah. So, um, they actually, Elijah Craig was allowing you to make your own labels, but Elijah Craig makes it. Really? So, like, it's not, it's a real Elijah Craig label. It is. But that you can put whatever you want in it. And Brandon and Chris were like, we're going to have this label made for Sean about it being really good. a vampire. And put it on the label, and then you gotta give it to him on a live stream. And I forgot last live stream, I'm sorry. That's really good, Elijah Craig product, good sir. Smash! And it's all gone. Hey, you can't drink that, that's mine. I'm not invisible. It's so cool that Elijah Craig lets you do that. They don't always. There was like some special event that I can't recall. I almost picked that up the other day to shoot a, a video, and he was like, oh, yeah, you can't have that. Like, it was over in the cabinet backwards, so he couldn't see it, and he, and he grabbed it, and I took it out of his hand, no, and I said, stop cool. sneaking around. Right behind you. Okay. I thought you said it on the floor. I was like, that's a terrible idea. God, I don't know a good... Uh, I would say pick up Pikesville if you can't get High West. Um, let's see. I was because she wants, hello all, Sam here, Bobby's working, and yes, he survived mm. last night, and I don't know how. I don't know how we survived our live streaming you adventure. Got, you, they damn near killed a man <laughs> last night. There was somebody in the chat, Bourbon Frenzy and Dan Z were both in the chat trying to kill Bobby. I think, what are you drinking? Straight rye? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Uh, they tried to kill him. I would say that in a, in a court of law, it was attempted murder. <laughs> I, like, legally. I think that's where we're at. I only started watching that. I haven't finished the oh, you should, it's, yet. It's worth a finishing. Because <laughs> it gets... You're, you'll be shocked how much that man can drink. And not die? He was sandbagging at Jason. Oh. He was chugging Smirnoffs. He was chugging Red's Apple Ales. Drinking whiskey in between them, he did some Jaeger at some point. Hot Jaeger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And it was 10, the bottle was 10 years old. And he almost threw up that time. And he was completely fine, like completely coherent. That's because he went and threw up. And, and then he was like, I'm good. And then all of a sudden, he, middle of like a sentence, one of the sentences, he just goes, fuck. <laughs> you can't, it like hit him in the middle of a sentence. It was hilarious. No, you can't get, um, mm. I think that's, that's a good substitute. Yeah, pick another bottle is pretty hard to get. 
Pikesville? It's not. I mean, this how is hard is straight hard. ride? This is pretty hard is to it? get. Yeah. My bad. I didn't think it was that hard. I think all. The, I think it's just this label now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn it. Annoyingly enough. Yeah, this is. A, I would say that's a good substitution, though. Okay, American Prairie is significantly better than I remember it. I genuinely, we didn't like that when we opened it. We both didn't like it. I think it felt a lot younger. Yeah, I think you're right. So, one of the things, the, one of the reasons High West is one of the best ever. Uh, drink it all. Do it. We don't like this. Go ahead and drink that whole thing. Did you like it? Has it gotten better? No, that face doesn't show that it's gotten yeah, better. Yeah, good. So High West makes these, the coolest bottle for barrel picks in the game. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. The uh, luminescent, iridescent. What? Is that what it is? This iridescent? Yeah. Sure. With a little uh, necktie on here. And then on the side here, most of them tell you what the they're finished in. So this was finish time one year. Dude, the, it's so... <laughs> Dude, it's all the transparency. The transparency from these guys is nuts. You gonna recover? I don't know about that one. That's that bad. So, uh, like the finish sits on there and just gets worse. It's uh. Um, we didn't like this the first time. God, it feels that like smell bad. A it's, yak's asshole. I would guess is what it, that tastes that's what like. That's what tastes like. Yeah, it smells like a baby Joseph Magnus. A tainted version of it. Yeah. I feel like ours was tainted. <laughs> wow. At first, it's like, that's not even bad. Like, 10 seconds after a drink, it's like, oh, my God. Okay. Whoa. You find that yak? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think, it's not as bad as you're explaining it, but it turns into, like, a, a like a distant funk of, of hatred. <laughs> like, it is not, like, a happy, di like, off-profile. That made me want to stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I need a drink. I'm done drinking. So the, they have finish time on the side, uh, bottled four, so that's the store that picked it, and then the barrel type. This is finished for one year in uh, Madeira cast, and this was a Binny's pick. So this is, four, I don't know what that was, but that was terrifying. This is 49.7, uh, so basically 50%. 2018. How do you feel? I don't. What was that? What is it's that? The, it's the cord. Uh, you that, didn't put that on there very well. No, I didn't. You just set it up there. That tastes something awful. For every good thing they do, they also do things like that, I feel. Eh, eh. That's a store pick. That might not be their fault. They were like, Benny's they put like, it in there, though. Benny's like, we need a pick. And they're like, give them, give, them the not, give them the ones we didn't like. Give them that funk. Benny's will sell it. Give it those ones. Yeah. Uh, imagine Jason from Master Drum said, seriously, then all of a sudden, there went the left eye <laughs> when Bobby was drinking last night. Dude, me and Jason are in chat. So is Chris from Bourbon Saying. Got that stroke face. And dude, all of a sudden, Bobby's just like, you can see him getting drunk. And Jason goes, here it comes. The left eye's leaving. Things are happening. DJ oh. Beacon with the super chat. Get the wheel out, bro. All right. Hit him with it. First spin of the night, DJ Beacon. You're a champ, dude. Let me, you know what? Oh, yeah. I was going to go grab a... Uh... We're done with the American Prairie Prairie now. Can I have some double rice? Yeah, have some of that. Is this yours? Yeah. I just drank out of fucking That's bag. all right. That's mine now. All right. DJ Beacon gets a salad. What are you doing with that? Grabbing some paper. For what? To write things down. I got the sheets thing open. No, no. We're, we're high tech now. I forgot we did that. I'm on top of things. I forgot we did Takes that. Takes me one week and then I improve. All right? I'm ever evolving. I told you to do it. DJ Beacon with the bottle fund. That donation goes towards Kentucky Spirit New yep. Label. Um, you want me to tell you where we're at, actually? I'll tell you guys where we're at with uh, the bottle fund. We're at $17 now. Well, we might actually be somewhere around there. Let's see. Where are we at, Dan? We are at. Dan's gonna tell you. Um, five, ten, twelve. Holy shit, seventeen. How did? did you, was that a complete guess? Yep. Nailed it. Dude. <laughs> that I, nailed I couldn't it. remember. For some reason, I was just trying to think back. I was like, I think we had like twelve bucks. I'm one. impressed, dude. Um, thank you, DJ Bacon. Cheers to you, man. Uh, when we hit that sixty dollar mark uh, from the bottle fund, we're gonna buy and review a bottle of new label Kentucky Spirit. Now it just looks like I, I put milk out of my tits, mm -hmm. you know? I'm okay with it, though. All right. Why do you have two double rise? So one is a uh, 17, and the other one's an 18. Okay. The batches change from year to year. The blends change from year to year. 
Okay. If I, 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 if I could have four more of the store picks that you're talking about getting for $39 in the chat. It's amazing. Um, that I went down I, really fast dude, for Dan. I, like, so here's the thing. I, I think told, he took it inside one time. I did. And it never returned. That's exactly what happened, actually. Yeah. So our buddy was in Chicago at Benny's, and he's like, oh, they got, I was like, they have any High West picks? Never had one at that point. Mm, yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, they got uh, this double ride one for 35 bucks. I'm like, dude, grab me two. And then unfortunately, what ended up happening was, I'm like, you know what? We bought a bunch of other whiskey. Yep. Buy me one of those. And then he brought it home. I'm like, that's one of my favorite rides I've ever had anywhere near $35. And I remember I one of the ones that I bought. Um, what was the other disappointing shit that I bought? <laughs> Basil 10. Yep. Knob Creek twice. Motherfucker. Twice barreled man. ride. Double barreled ride. Twice ride. Double barrel. Double barrel shotgun to the face ride. Something like that. I put it way over there. No, it's on the bottom way over there. We don't even need to get it out. We Holy just shit. genuinely it's don't really, like it. Yeah. It's really, yeah. I hit it. It's over there. I hit it. It's not even on the rye shelf at this point. That's a Novi pick. Oh, yeah. I think you picked that up for me. Or maybe, yeah, you did, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's good stuff. You're just, you're just venturing off right now. Yeah, bro. You're venturing off the live stream. You're not going to say anything. <laughs> he gets a sample. You get a sample, dude. Listen. Yeah, see, it. that's what happens when I just roll on it and hit it hard. Yeah, so Sean's not Sam's spinning team. anymore. <laughs> Fucking say William Davalor. That's definitely how you pronounce it. I would guess that's not even Spin fucking again. close. Spin again. All right? You get Sam, dude. Uh, email me at bourbonjunk at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram. One of those two with your name. I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of chatting here. <laughs> oh, dealer's choice. You can pick oh. anything on the wheel. Uh, bottle fun. Super chat showdown. You get to pick a bottle. You we'll pick our core. Community or. blend. Yep. Quick review, did you say that? Nope, I didn't say that. I feel like we should put a picture of this wheel somewhere. That would be an incredibly good idea. Maybe like in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> you so want to quick take a picture it? of Instagram poster up there? Ever improving, we are. DJ Beacon says, do not let Sean make an adjustment to that wheel. Why not? Don't, yeah. Remember last time? You're like, let's tighten it up. And then it was like, one, one. It was like, <laughs> like oh wow okay that's super cool I even uh, I gave that one the old uh, the, the dice fingers um so yeah the for the samples last week uh, we got one out and then unfortunately I didn't see the other one uh, Jerry ended up messaging me on Patreon instead yep. um, and I didn't see it until we were, it was late and then we were gone all weekend so it'll go out this week Jerry so here's the thing it's a rough week for us where is give me you get one double right and give me the other double right Okay, well, we, gotta, we already drank one of each. We got to cheers those. Okay. We have to. Well, I already had that one, so you can have that one. This one's this, the 17? This was supposed to be a 15. I have the 17 because somebody told me it was an old 15. And it clearly says 17 right on the front? it says 17 on the front. Pretty hard c cipher that they had to go through there. Yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. Let's see if we can't. God damn it. I said my worst case scenario is it's double rye. Well, Listen. Uh, Fishbone. Okay. We got another one. Right. So, Fishbone up. and William Davalour. I kind of want to say it like a, like you're French, but it's probably Davalour. But I like Davalour. William. Me. Listen, it's like a clone commercial. William Davalour, because chicks like to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's probably like a good ad yeah. campaign? Yeah. I've been yeah. watching Mad Men, and I feel like that's a good one. Cheers, that shit. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys for the donation. Thank you for all the channels. Uh, support all the love. All the feels, all that, dude. It makes Dan warm and fuzzy at Let me night. smell. I want to smell next week. Smells I haven't good. done this. I'll do that one. All right. Seems rude. This one's like sweeter, like on um, baking spices, yeah. and this one is le more spicy. Hundred yeah, percent. That's interesting. Yeah. You have the eighteen. Mm -hmm. So they changed their bl their batches. This they smells their richer. Blood. Way richer. Molasses rich. Richard, what's that from? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? What is that from? Richard! Richard! Go away. Alright. I mean, I'm spitting fucking bombs here. Chad's here with the five. And it, we uh, didn't even read fish bones, dude. He said, I need to get some Mayor Ping here in Texas. You're oh, damn right. We'll trade you. <laughs> we'll spin up. Gary some brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What the hell is like a trade up like for a him? Like a sample. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Thank you, Fishbone. It's from Tommy Boy, by the way. Mayor Pingree's the dance. Oh yeah. Richard! 
Your favorite team, the Yankees. We got, oh, don't get that one, thank God. I don't like it when you get the one that says you don't get anything. Dealer's Choice, you get to pick. That was for Chadster. 311S, thank you for the donation, man. Let us know. We need to just put a picture up. Sean's on 100 Do you want to take a pic real quick? Okay, put so actually, Insta? I need to know what Fishbone wants, and I need to know what Chadster wants. They both got Dealer's Choice. Take an Insta pic real quick. It's going up on Instagram. Oh, you, you want to say that one more time, or you just want to? Gonna go up on Instagram. Okay, I didn't realize it was a song now. Dude, if you guys didn't watch our live stream the other night uh, with I Was Christian oh, yeah. Lines and Jason, Jason started spitting some bars freestyle, dude, and it, I was impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty into uh, the the rap game, as they call it. Uh, I was impressed. <laughs> All right. That was, that was something to hear. Guess what, dude? What's up? Uh, you can kind of, it's not... Smoke. It's kind of on our Instagram live story. There's a picture. You can see most of the spots. <laughs> if you want to see the spots, look at them there. Holy shit. <sighs> What's your opinion on the new blends at High West that Baron or Barton Rye was key to those blends? Yeah. So This is an 18. This is good. When did they start with Barton Rye? I'm glad that the 18 is good. I'm very happy about it. It's delicious. That. The reason I'm happy is, to answer your question, Peter, the reason is, Sometimes things get worse as uh, High West got bought out, right? So things get worse as the company changes hands, or the thing, or it gets worse as the company gets mm. bigger. Um, if the Double Rye 18 smelled better than the 17, doesn't taste better. Okay, well you could have just. I was gonna let you go. <clears throat> this one felt um, like it was just a lot simpler. It's really sweet up. Did front. you just drink all of it? Yep. I only oh, had like two really? ounces in there. That's a run guy game. Davis said, Dan, so you sing your hardcore Detroit. Nah, dude, I'm from I'm from the town where there's no crime. Just correct problems. I grew up in a pretty uh, you know, healthy household full of love and stuff like that. So but you know, uh, about that hood shit. Listen, I'll tell you guys right now, and you don't have to believe me, but this is the truth. Dan there, just likes to do hood rat shit. There are more <laughs> great white rappers right now than there have ever been in history, hands down, bar none, period. That's a truthful statement. If you look into it, everybody's like, ah, white rappers. If you look into it, that's a very truthful statement. You can DM me on Insta, I'll tell you about eight really good white rappers right now. He will. All right. Ooh, I like the smell of so much more. I don't like the taste of it. I think the um, 17, like it really grabs a hold of you and gives you something a little bit, a little bit more than the 18. <clears throat> okay. Actually, that is way closer to the Old Forester rye than the yeah. 17 is. This yeah. is more like that barley sweet. Yeah. That's This is more like a nice rye, a little bit of spice, a little cinnamon. You get to hold you on the back end. With this, it, you just get that bump of sweetness, and you're like, mm, okay. Chester says, what does the dealer's choice do? So you can pick whether, you can pick where your money goes, anything on the wheel. Um, sample, bottle fund, um, really super event, chat yeah. showdown. It's all that, all that stuff's on Instagram. Go check Community out the blend. story. Community blend. Quick review. Quick review. That's all of them. Yeah. Or you can go with, we got nothing, so neither do you. That doesn't, I was reading that today, that doesn't make sense. We didn't get nothing. We got a donation. But we have no ideas. Oh. No, we got nothing. We're out of ideas. Yeah. And you're out of money. Yeah. I mean, probably not the case. But you see what I'm saying. We haven't got that big of a donation. <laughs> That one's getting r r r returned. All right. Sample trade sounds good. Fishbone, you don't have to trade us. If you want, you want a sample. Yeah. Um, let's see. But did he though? Yeah, he did. He got. He won dealer's choice. One way. You yep. have a sample. You got two dealer's choice on a road. Dan just got Everyone a brand knows. new ten-year blue label. Oh my gosh. That apparently he made love to last night. So you might not want it actually. The pingree. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was the message I got. Ugh. Yep. That was the that noise. Was the I just sent him just a noise. Yeah. And it was good it douche. It, That's what the noise was. It wasn't text. It was actually a voicemail. This is why. So Mayor Pingree is, uh, the blue labels are source aged MGP. They're aged here for a while. But this blue label that I just got is uh, single barrel. 54%. Is that 108 proof? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's like. It's like 108 proof for that whiskey was like hello perfect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You'll you'll know. You'll never try it because I'll drink all of it before you try it. But 
Dude, Oak and Smoke Whiskey Review says everyone knows that Snow is the bi best white rapper in the history of white rappers. Are you trying to Snow the product? Because she's Mexican as shit. She's a really good rapper, but oh, okay. All right. That's really good, huh? You spilt it. It's even on your face. It burns. It's, it doesn't burn. It's really good, huh? Mm. That's really good. That's different. That's a great proof point for that whiskey. Hmm. William says, what is a Super Chat Showdown? So, Super Chat Showdown, a quick uh, explanation is, we when we get four Super Chat Showdowns, every one person that gets it gets to pick one bottle that goes in the Super Chat Showdown. Super Chat Showdown will be a whiskey war that is done on our live stream. Yep. But they're all bottles picked by the people who won or landed on uh, Super Chat Showdown. Yep. So far we have Blanton's Gold and Pete McNeil actually won a Super Chat Showdown and I don't know what bottle he wanted in it. So, so far two people have won it. When oh. two more people win Super Chat Showdown, we'll do a war. We'll do a war on the next live Winner. stream. On the, on the live stream. Winner gets a one ounce sample from all four. All four. You get a one ounce sample of all of them. Yeah. All right. It's a good time for everyone. Realistically, it would be nice if, what would be incredibly nice, oh, we, they have to win for I was like, what would be nice if they could get the sample before the war and do them with us, but you got to win first? That's kind of difficult. This I is, like I like how everyone got to see Dan's thought process. This is why I don't think out loud. Unfold right there, because this is usually the shit I get to, to really shoot down. Be like, damn, that that doesn't fucking make sense. Uh, let's see. He Drainman KY says Dan is Kid Rock without the wife beater. I don't own one, but he is a wife beater though. Whoa, jeez, that's what I'll tell anybody that <laughs> shit. <laughs> see, it's funny when like my wife would just beat me up and oh yeah me. she definitely hit you with a stick she just beat me up and leave me so. yep <clears throat> um just back right in the to face high west website on my phone i was at the double ride page let's see if we can get back there good evening bj's chris you missed me gifting the bottle to sean the elijah craig bottle thank you sir I, i've he almost found it yesterday and i had to hide it i took it out of this greedy little raccoon paws that's good that's real good. Okay, so, um, Chaster says sample would be cool. Let's see. Which one? Let me see. Tell me which one? I, uh, Let me get back to the live thing for tonight. Current live. Here we go, dude. So, if you won and you got the other choice and you wanted a sample, you have to email me on bourbonjunk at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram. Yeah. He likes them DMs. <clears throat> if you can, write out what you want on your dick and then send that picture to him. It's a win-win for everyone here. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Thank God we don't have enough, like, this is a pretty specific community, <laughs> thank, thankfully it's a specific community. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well, <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Jeff said, Sean is snappy tonight. Damn. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, he's fucking pissy. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. He's pissy. I'm not. No, he's not. Um, I'm having a great night. I'm here. Mashing yeah. drums is <clears throat> epic weekend, guys. Great drams, great whiskey tubing, great friends. Cheers, fellas. Listen. You're going to pretend you didn't fucking hear that raccoon up there? Yeah. That's a cat. I don't know what that was. That actually might be the cat. It well, sounded like it was coming through the ceiling. Pour me rendezvous, rye, good, sir, please. Do we already have that? Or should we go campfire? Let's go campfire. Do we already have rendezvous? No. We have double ride like six times. All right, this is for oh, Jason. American Prairie is what we started with. Ooh. Oh, that was a beautiful noise. That's a 16 and a 17. Okay, campfire. <laughs> well, I was done with this blend anyway. Blend of scotch, whisk, or bur scotch, bourbon, and rye in, in a bottle. This is an interesting one to say the least. This is a 17 edition, a blender of the old 17. I haven't had this in since we opened it. Are we behind one for Jason? Yeah, this is for Jason. This oh. is a cheers to Jason. Cheers, man. Hey, Jason had us over, Mash and Drum had us over, and I was she wines over this weekend. If you didn't watch the live stream the other definitely go check it out. Um, I would, I, I'm not even daring to say, I'm confident in my statement that it is the best whiskey tube live stream that's ever taken place. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The only one that I would consider as good as, but for a wildly different reason, apples to oranges, Bobby be Dine? Aqua Vitae and Ralphie <laughs> oh. live streaming together. That was one of the most epic things ever. Now, you're so awkward. For humor's sake, it wasn't, but for information's sake, that was the most incredible live stream ever. 
entertainment alone, best best live stream ever happened, took place Saturday on Match and Drums channel. Check it out. Do it. Damn it. Shit it. Do it. Why are you breaking? Shit? I feel like that thing's about to come shooting off and hit me in the eyeball. We get. Well. <laughs> you want to take that off the wheel yet? He had us at his house. He let us sleep in his home. Uh, he for free. <coughs> we didn't have to pay rent. And you only gave him three hand jobs. Yeah. Was, Jason, Sean can explain to you what just happened because I'm. This is so, Sean's idea. So. So Dan wrote on there because he's a bad person that uh, there should be a dead space on there. So, no, I didn't uh, say this. No, I didn't say that. We got it's, nothing. It says so we, neither do you. It says we ran out of ideas, so you don't get anything. And this is all Sean's idea, and I will put, fucking put the chat in a video someday. And I said that that doesn't make me feel very happy. We're supposed to update it. Jason, I'm sorry, dude. And just never have. Listen, <laughs> thank you for letting us stay at your house. Thank you for the incredible time. He let us try. Do you want to talk about what he let us drink? All the things. 2014 William Leroux Weller? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fourgate bourbon? Yeah, that's four, that was Fourgate. Okay, so I didn't know the price that was 200 that. retail. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that hmm. when I drank it. I was like, hmm. damn, that's really well, good. I just want you to know damn, what just goes, happened. You know, that was $200. I said, mm, that is really good. Yeah, it is really good. It's all, 200 is a high price point. Yeah. Okay, so you can't spin again. Okay. Well, you didn't know that. I was Kishi Wine said, agree with Jason. Next time Woodford and Waffles will happen, I'll so here's the problem. and make you guys breakfast. We stayed up until 3 a.m., uh... Yep. Because we're adults, you know, uh, and then got wildly too drunk, and then woke up at nine a.m. and said, "There's no fucking way I can drink." <clears throat> no. Yeah. And that was pretty much how it happened. I think it would have been fun to watch uh, Sean and Bobby drink that morning. Nah, I, no, I, would, I woke. I told Dan. I know, I was but like, that might escalate. I woke it. up. I was like, dude, I feel like a million bucks. Switched to water at just the right time. I'm doing great, and then like. 45 minutes into our trip, I said, I don't feel so good. This is not going to go well. And it didn't. He slept, no, it, it went fine. He slept four hours on the way home. And I drove four hours and 45 minutes. And he slept four hours. <laughs> Which real in reality is fine because I just listened to podcasts. No, but. No regrets. <laughs> terrible human being. So, I was just <clears throat> on cheers. Um, I'm, I, you know, I miss hanging out with you guys because normally it's just Sean for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I get that. You know? <laughs> Hurts my feelings, though. So. Cheers, you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just dumped this whiskey in here. I was, don't give a I was shit. waiting for us to both just fuck up. <laughs> All right. Cool. Not engraved ones, though. You spinning for them? That's how you spin the wheel. What would it be? I always kiss you wines. You guys want a sample. Everybody's getting samples tonight. Samples, samples on samples on samples. All right. Uh, somebody did say Sean screws up again. I want you to know that. Um, I was key, she whines. Sam uh, just messaged me somewhere. Not just, mess just message me anywhere we talk. Uh, let me know what you guys want for a sample. Usually on Grinder. Um, <clears throat> you think Sam's on Grinder? No, Bobby is. Yeah, but Sam's the one in the chat. Bobby's at work. That's probably true. No, she said that, and I read yeah, it out loud. Well, you didn't read that out loud. I swear to God, I read it. Clip it. Okay. <laughs> Clip it. Cut, cut the film. Okay, real quick. I just want to say Campfire says it's best enjoyed with old friends, good-looking strangers. Sip straight or with a little water. That's it. I, I really like the clarification on, on the way to drink these things. It does say, That's it does put a unique twist on classic cocktails, which I'm sure is true. Bad. Okay. What? That's aggressively rude. It, it just tastes like scotch. We got another. We got another super chat. Well, I can't spin it, so. Christopher Schwitz. Christopher, thank you, sir. Thank you. I was Kishiwan says, we don't need any more samples. Save it for next time we meet up. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. We'll, we'll throw it towards the bottle fund. Yeah. And then, we'll, obviously, we'll bring whiskey to share um, next time we meet up, too. Um, we're very we're about, I just talked to Ricky tonight, and I was like, so, Rashawn and I are, are actively attempting to go to Texas for the... Uh, the Wizard Academy, the Whiskey Tribe slash Whiskey Vault event, the Whiskey Vault event, or Whiskey Tribe event. Whatever crowd, whatever their crowd-funded bourbon, whatever their name is. 
the of their distillery. Oh yeah, I think, it's just, but it's a whiskey tribe of Bath. Yeah, okay. So um, I thought it was at the distillery. It is at their okay. distillery, yeah. but they're putting on events with their yeah. channel. Okay. So, um, so the whiskey tribe is putting on event. Um, big hangout. Like a big you know, whiskey tuber event, or a bunch of whiskey tubers are going. It's not just for whiskey tubers. Yeah. We're trying. It's to four members of. The trying room. to go. It's there. Yeah. I talked to Ricky tonight, and I said I feel like a shitty husband if I go, and she said, "You're not a shitty husband. You should go." You gonna pretend to not hear that one now? That was outside. Okay. That was outdoors. Okay. And then I said, "But I feel like a shitty husband," and she goes. The, like we looked it up so like the odds of me having this child the oh, one no. the one and a half days no. are like very low she didn't say none but are very low and the odds of her having the child any other time significantly higher weirdly enough that's how statistics work obviously. how about the odds of her getting pregnant 100% they were pretty low I slang dick <laughs> dude like dude I just we, you want a baby? One for you. One for you. That's how my that's how my baby making works. <coughs> that was, that it's great. potent. And I break a rule once or twice, and then you're <laughs> gonna have a, a child inside your body. So, yeah. listen. Um, so we're trying to go to the whiskey tribe event. So we found an Airbnb that's four miles. She oh they emailed me back. You book it? Four miles. You book that shit? Don't tell him about this. I didn't book it's it. It's about to be booked. <laughs> I didn't book it yet because I would, that's why I talked to Ricky and I'm like, I feel like a shitty husband. Same as on She's like, Airbnb I, right now. I don't care. Fine. They already have a room at uh, the hotel. La uh, I said, uh, I, she's like, I just, I can't care if you go. Like, I just don't She care. physically doesn't need Dan in her life. I, maybe it's me thinking she, but I also don't want to miss the birth of my child. Yeah. Ricky said, like, so Ricky made a very sound point. You were there for the first one? She, actually, she literally said that. The, the sound point was, <laughs> she said, realistically, if nothing happens leading up to this, yeah. having a baby three weeks early when you had no signs beforehand, yeah. unlikely. Unrealistic. So we'll probably book that, and we can, we can cancel if we have to, but we can book that. Just lost your room. It'll just be you and Gabby going when I have to stay here, and you can send me cool pictures, and I'll just be like, well, Ricky went through another 26-hour labor, so I'm exhausted. It's Lana. just going to be pictures from Gabby of me Gosh. wildly drunk. Fuck. Oh, wow. Okay, we went two different directions. <laughs> All right. We didn't do a spin a rooski for Christopher Schwitz. What is it, dude? Tell me. It's going to be a bottle fund. Nope. Steeler's choice. Steel How? That's a lot. Change the wheel. We've had three or four of those tonight. Dealer's choice. This thing's broken. Christopher Schwitz. Well, I loosened it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can tighten it. There you go. That's better. Yeah, he's good. Yep. Uh, dealer's choice. Uh, Christopher Schwitz. The wheel is sitting on Instagram on our live story right now, or our story, if you want to check it tighten out. Tighten that, baby. <laughs> What'd you tighten? I went to, I set it down. Sean changed it. Is, Sean changed it. Everybody it's the knows. the bottom post. Doesn't matter. You guys don't know what happened. Well, all right. I can loosen it back up so the next time you fucking spin her, she just goes helicopter and right off. <laughs> I was, <laughs> Sam says, Bobby's on grinder. I'll message you all his handle. You want, I, yeah. I will Google dick pics to send them to him. Like that's where I'll that's where I'm gonna be at. Going into your Google Drive of your dick pics is not Google <laughs> dick pics, Dan. <laughs> All right, yeah, Christopher Switz, let me know what you are looking for out of that wheel, dude. Uh, Richie Z in the chat said, "What is going on, everybody? What's going on, man? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining us." So uh, I still have campfire in my glass. Well, that's a mistake. I got your new one already. A new glass? Yep. That's fine. I would actually like to compare those raw neighbors. Yeah, that's why I got two new glasses. Dreamman came and says, get out that yippee ki yay What are your oh, thoughts okay. or did I miss it? If you can wait for us to get through those rendezvous, we'll do it next. Yeah. We'll, we'll do, do the yippee ki right after those. Um, and then we'll do the burr eyes after that. Yep. DJ B can listen, dude. Sean's been touching the wheel. He's been breaking shit. You know how this works. You get it. You're part of the club. The mm. dick sucking club. I want to say this while okay. there's holy shit 74 people in here. Hey. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Also, the question one. Seems rude. Question. No, I love you all. We obviously have the same disorder, right? But what's wrong with you guys? So, um, while all 74 of you are in here, our second challenge coins are being made right now. The second round, they're so fucking cool. 
Uh, you guys will like them. Jason and uh, I was Kishi Wines, Bobby and Sam got to see them this weekend. The right or the markups, as people, some people call them. Markups is what most people Damn it, call that's. Them. You guys get it. So, uh, those are going to be, they're, they're being made. Uh, they're been, they've been ordered, they haven't been shipped. Let's put it that way. So, just so everybody knows, they're going to be uh, ceramic, but they're much bigger this time, so they'll fit over a glen correctly, and we won't ever have to worry about them falling in different size glens. Um, so, everybody that's part of our patron, patron page, Patreon page, whatever you guys feel like calling it tonight, because I don't like that they're different things. Um, if the $10 and up gets a coin for free after one month, if you're already a $10 person uh, in our Patreon, you get a coin for free. Um, so yeah, if you join us on Patreon and you join at that level, you get the, the stuff that's already there, which is a Glen Karen and a flask after some odd months, and then you'll get the coin after one month. But here's the thing. Um, the coins will be $10 up front per coin shipped, just so everybody knows. Look for those in like, hopefully, what is it? Six, mm. It's the 25th right now. So hopefully like end of June, early July, we'll, they'll either be shipped or we'll have hmm. them. Last time I ordered them, they got us them like in a week. But okay. this time it said there was one to two weeks on them, so I don't know. And just been AB in these while you were talking. Christopher Schwitz says, you guys pick, I'm here to support. If you don't mind, man, what I would like to put that towards is the bottle fund. Yeah. I'm looking forward, we've, we have, we only literally have one Kentucky Spirit bottle right now. Mm -hmm. And it's the feather bottle and it's a store pick. We haven't had a normal feather bottle in probably two years. No. And there, there are none left around here. <laughs> and uh, we haven't had like the normal Kentucky Spirit bottle in, or the new one ever. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward the, to getting our hands on that bottle. The Rare Breed bottle, basically? The new Rare Breed bottle with a new label with different yeah. whiskey. So. Mm -hmm. Bourbon Frenzy in the fucking chat, dude. What hey, is going on? Hey, you get a on? sample? Who? Bourbon Frenzy. Bourbon Frenzy. You get your sample, man? I think so. I think he emailed us and said he got it. Or oh. he messaged I'm so sorry if I forget anything. I get like a lot of messages on Instagram and not, yeah. not from people who like get stuff from us or anything like that, but a lot of questions on like what whiskey should I buy and stuff like that. And then we get DMs on Patreon and like. And then emails. Emails. So there's a lot of like <clears throat> mediums for me to try to keep track of. And if I forget, over. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's definitely me. Christopher Switz said, I'm good with the bottle fun. Thanks, Thank man. You, we appreciate that, dude. Thank that you so much. That gets us way donation. closer. Yeah, it gets us super close. 37. Because, um. Why do you not have an equal sum? We, we said we would put my action drums toward Bottle Fun 2. Oh. And his okay. was 5. So we're up in the 40s, dude. 43. We're damn close to the Kentucky Spirit. Math is You know what? Long. That Kentucky Spirit? Like, as Saturday content. That'd be an extra video. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because it's like a community Oh, thing. yeah. Here. If oh, I I do. Yeah. <clears throat> Malton Montreal in the chat. What's That's going on, man? Thanks for hanging out, dude. Sean, Get where do you go to Supercuts? Do you just ask for Frank Grimes? Who's Frank Grimes? Frank Grimes. I don't know who Frank Grimes is, man. You're gonna have to tell me what that uh, means. I know Rick Grimes. I don't know who that is either. Rick Grimes uh, is from Walking Dead. What's better than Elijah Eagle Rare for 25 to 30 Buffalo Trace? Fuck Frank Grimes. Frank Grimes? Is that, uh, um, no. Trevor Wilson Frank says, Castle is Punisher. Who the hell is Frank Grimes? Patrick Fulmer <laughs> says, downloading porn in another window. Like, <laughs> wait, we are or you are? Who's doing that, dude? I don't have the bandwidth to support downloading hey, porn and streaming. <clears throat> Two monitors. Problem solved. I'm not a fan of campfire. That's campfire. Yeah. I thought it was Rendezvous Rise, so that and, was... An... Until the scotch kicks in, you're like, no. You don't like it? I kind of like that it's so different. Yeah. I think it's a cool offering. It does. Did I say that? Do you uh, agree with that? It's kind of like uh, J.R. Riddle, though, for me. No, J.R. Riddle is like it's rancid, bourbon. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Riddle's rancid. But it's like. That's actually really one. chill and like one relaxed. Let's do one or the other. Well, there's three. I know. So not one or the other. <laughs> do one of the three. All right. Okay. All right. We're on the same page. Well, bourbon I Frenzy. <laughs> bourbon Frenzy. I swear to God, Bourbon Frenzy spent $100 last night trying to kill Bobby. <laughs> bourbon Frenzy, if you were not here at the beginning of this live stream tonight, I said that you and Dan Z should go to prison for attempted murder. You guys damn near killed a man last night. You're, you're lucky Bobby is basically a vault. Like his stomach is a, what are those tanks where they mix everything? A tank. What, what's it's called a, a mixing tank. Sure, dude. The ones where they let them like sit and whiskey just like Valentine lets blends and then lets them sit. Like the mellowing tank? Sure. His stomach is that. Bobby had so much I just don't throw up. Night. 
I would just go throw up. Apparently, after again, Warm Jaeger, you would watch me spew on this. Perfect frenzy. Thank you so oh, uh, much. Oh, A and B does. Linux chat. Dan, is campfire worth buying? Mm -hmm. Do you? So here's mm -mm. relax. Mm -hmm. Do if you like scotch, campfire is worth buying. Maybe. Do you agree? Because the scotch at the end is really over. It just it just waves past all the rest of the flavor. Where's it at? It crushes the rest. And you you've been just stacking them in front of me so nobody can see me anymore. Yeah, that that's what we're trying to. That's do. literally what's happening. Um, I just looked. That is literally what's. Happening. Perfect. I've almost got the wall built. Thanks, Trump. Oh, oh, oh my! This just turned a corner that I didn't plan on going down. All right, we got to spin the wheel for Bourbon Frenzy. Cheers, so, Bourbon Frenzy. Thank you, man. Thank you for donating tonight. Thanks for the support. If you like really sweet scotch, then yeah. Cheers. Okay. You have the 16? Which you one's have? the barrel select? That's the important part. Well, that's the 16, that's the 17. Which I one's the barrel select? The one that says barrel select on the label. So this would be the barrel select. That was hard. But well, it doesn't have the tag. I'm, I'm used to the, the, the nice name here. Quick in? review. Yeah, there you go. Bourbon Frenzy, listen, man, if you want us to review a bottle real quick, let us know. Oh, can't wait for campfire. <laughs> Knock out a quick bottle review for you, a couple minute review. All right, dude, we're not even spinning for Nathan. Why? We're not even fucking spinning, dude. Because he said, I don't care what the wheel says, this is bottle fun money. Right. 20 bucks, dude. Well, that's it then. Nathan. That's 67. Nathan. Thank you, dude. I think. Oh, geez, I'm fucking Pete. Okay. Well, I can't type that fast, so maybe relax, everybody. <laughs> he does IT for a living. Can't type. I have to... I mean, can you imagine? Imagine how far I'd make it in my career if I was like... I knew a guy. Yeah, his, his paperwork took so long because he typed like this. Linscat says for the bottle fund. Linscat, I think we're past the bottle fund. We're man. def. Okay, so it, listen. If you don't want us to spin the wheel and you just want to, and you want us to do like the super chat showdown or something like that, that's fine too, man. I really don't care. Uh, I was gonna say add it up real quick, see where we're at, okay. because he might be able to pick a new bottle. Let's, then let's cheers these. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They just roll. It just rolls yeah, over. Roll into a new bottle. Damn, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm super yeah, smart. Cheers, dude. Okay. Uh, Nathan. Linscat. Anyone else? Everybody, dude. Everyone Everybody in the chat. Everybody in the chat, man. Thank you guys so much. For real. So, the other thing I wanted to say about the coins real quick is the coins are going to help fund the Texas trip. Yeah. All the, probably realistically, all the money from the coins are going towards uh, flights and stay for the Texas trip. Yep. So, just so everybody knows. Which, We have 100 coins. Hopefully we have a few minutes with Daniel, I think. Right? Mm-hmm. I thought he said in the email we would uh, get a couple minutes. We get a him. seat at the whiskey tube table. That's thought, what the email said. I thought we got a couple minutes to talk to him. He said, I'll let you all. You oh, know? that makes sense. Yeah, I remember that. And Sean was like, can I go Does. twice? Yeah. <laughs> can Sign I me take up. two turns? Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. All right, let me add up the old bottle fund here. Well, that's good. Which do is push <laughs> equal sign, but and then listen. you type sum. Hey. Open parentheses, Your and then you click and drag, and then not enter. Right, because watch. Okay, tell me why I'm not right. Because we got who do we got for bow? We got Nathan. Cool. When we got Christopher. That's okay. forty. You want to talk while I'm doing this? You just want everybody. I just want to let everyone know how inefficient Dan is. So at that's at fifty-seven. I have a total right there, dumbass. Super There's a formula that has a total. Super inefficient. You're missing someone. DJ B, you can notice since Sean screwed up with the wheel, everyone's calling out their picks equals no one wants to spin. <laughs> Sean broke the wheel, man. Um, yeah, you're missing Yeah, we said we were someone. gonna put mashing drums towards it. Yep, and Linux cat. That's another $7 you off to be 64. That's another 10, so you don't know how to do math. But that's all right, I, I thought Linux did two. Linux cat did five, mashing drum did five. So we have uh, Linux cat, uh, you actually get to pick a new bottle. Yeah. Links cat, what do you want the next one to be, man? Uh, the next, the next uh, funded bottle by the community of Super Chats, you get to pick. Yeah. Your donation fun. starts off the next bottle. Pick a red, uh, at least semi readily available bottle we can probably find in the store. If we definitely can't find it in the state or something, I'll let you know. You can repick, but let us know what bottle you want us to pick up. How much of a cut does Google YouTube take on Super Chats? Carl H, 30%. 30%.
for hosting this streaming service. Hosting, transactional fees, um, that type of shit. 30%. It's ridiculous, dude. But... Um, but we, we have no other platform to do this on. Yeah, man. I mean, so, we could do it on Twitch, but that's not like where the community is at. So no. it doesn't really make sense. So. Damn. I like Jam both of says, Sean, keep your spirit fingers off the wheels. <laughs> what was the last one? The last one you, I don't know, you spun seven dealer's choices in a row. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm just giving you the best options. I know. Malta Montreal said, I got a $50 super chat and Google sent me $35. Yeah, uh, they're very they're open about their th- that math works. Thirty percent, five times three d fifteen. Yeah, they're they're very open about the thirty percent rule. Yes, seemingly. Yeah, they, I mean Google makes a shit ton of money off YouTube. That's how that works. But it also gives like a billion people a platform to chat and have a community and chill. So, yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Just pay, chill and hang out, man. Pay that thirty percent. Which one's which? This is the left one. That was the right one. Okay. You want me to pour more of that one? Because I definitely finished it. Dream NKY, does 30% count for taxes? No, it does not. Has Bourbon Apprentice, has anyone tried horse sho- a horse soldier looking at their barrel strength but uh, for 80 but needs some no, opinions? We I actually just heard about it. We basically. just were talking about it. And um, it, it sounds like it's a good cause and a good mm-hmm. group of guys. Or Jason people. was showing us those bottles on Saturday. Very cool. Linux, yeah, this is more difficult than I thought. I don't know what you don't have. Dude, throw out your top three bottles you want us to pick. There's also on our highlights on Instagram. Instagram. If you use Instagram on our highlights, there's a bunch, like the whole collection mostly for the most part. Yeah, I looked at it the other day. I really thought you were going to do pictures of each shelf. But he just does a, a, a video. Is like a, a video monster? running down it? Yeah. yeah, like a monster. You can tap, you can set your finger on it and pause it. Mm-hmm. This isn't difficult. Who wants to do that? People who want to see what's on the shelf. Thank you for asking. Two pictures. Am I supposed to pick which one I like more? Yeah, I mean, you can. <sighs> okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like the right one more. I do too. But not by much. Not by much. Both of them are really good. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. It's finish. like spicy pear and it's amazing. Yeah, it's like the finish that um, I like this one a little bit more. Oh my gosh. It's just a bit richer. Uh, it's got, it's but, the, I mean, it's that's really good proof. too. That, like, the the run, this is the run of you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good bottle. That is a 16. Salad. I've had the 18, it's good too. Um, that lingers <laughs> way more than that. This is probably my one of my favorite bottles of High West that we have. Rendezvous? Um, is that the run, barrel pick? Yeah, the, the barrel pick yeah. of the Rendezvous. But I really do like their Rendezvous rye. So, um, outside of midwinter, that, that's probably it for me. I have to go pick. Oh, what are we going to do? You the guy Do we here? spin for Bourbon Frenzy? I thought he just told us to go towards something. No. Nope. Yeah. Bourbon Frenzy, I'm sorry. What Was he at Dealer's Choice? I didn't type it. Well, you suck. It was the only one I didn't type for some reason. Then we get two dealer I got choice Nathan's. in a row. We're gonna do those. Linux cat, wild turkey decades. We don't have that bottle. We do not. We, I'm, we can get at we have access to it. Yeah. For 160 bucks. Yep. Okay. Wild turkey decades it is. Oof, that's a spicy gale too. That is a that's a big boy bottle. Alright. It is a real big boy bottle. Um Okay. We just gotta tell them to hold that bottle for us. And, we're I know we're th- gonna buy I know it. where three of them are, I think. Cork and Saigon is two. Oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Or they 160 only, each. I they only had one. State Mint in Michigan is like 150. So, um, so once we hit the pri- that price from the bottle fund on the wheel, we will buy Wild Turkey Decades. Mm. Thank you, Linkscat, for the donation. Thanks for picking a cool bottle, mm. dude. Wild Turkey Decades is actually the only master skeep we don't have except the Australian one so far. Yeah. So and then we will eventually um, unleash Dan's mouth onto someone's dick and get a cornerstone. What? What? Okay, first what? off, I'm ready and willing. <laughs> okay. Secondly... The box... Oh, we were talking about the other day. It's like this light green um, box that it comes in. It looks so cool. I want it. So... Dan's ready to fight people for it. The cornerstone? I'm ready to lay on people for it. I weigh more than most people can lift. He'll just lay on them and be like, quick, go pay, run! <laughs> I weigh more than most people can lift. We're good. If I jump on top of you and lay down, you might be squished. You're not going to be ready for that 300 pounds to hit you. No, that's very rude. 
Yeah, but there's force behind it. It'll feel like 300 pounds. Okay, momentum. I get that. I see what you're saying. It'll just be too weighty. Definitely not you meant, asshole. All right, the Yippee let's do it. For Dram Man KY. Dram Man KY has been waiting patiently. Is that our um, quick review? What's your quick oh, review? Oh, that was the Bourbon Friends that got a quick review. Oh. Thanks for saying that out loud, dude. I'm glad you think out loud sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. No, yeah. Dram Man KY said, what did you guys think of the Yippee Did you already do it? That was no. Oh. I just brought it up. Oh. Who knew? What's up? Why are you laughing? Because Chris Evans says, high west equals high best. Nonchalant spin, please. And then the ghost emoji. <laughs> the ghost emoji was it over the top. <laughs> Sean was going to spin it. That's why I gave you that spin. Because Sean was going to spin what it. What is it? Bottle fun. There you go. There you go. Thanks, man. Chris we Evans. It. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, this is water. Just a sec. <clears throat> That's good. I love Yippie Kai. Man. I love Yippie Kai. Mother. I don't even remember the last time I've had it. Long um, pour. Not that bad, actually. Okay, got worse <laughs> as it went. Got worse as it went. It didn't start poorly. Admit that. There is more on this table than there is in that glass. Admit that it started pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the first quarter of an ounce hit. My hand went. Bloop. The next ounce and a half hit outside. Chris Evans, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, you're, that $5 cool. is going to go towards Wild Turkey Decade. That glass is soaked, dude. Okay. I'm not I, trying to, I, you got to yep. drive home. I'm not trying to get it on you, I promise. I really thought that was coming right down on me. I was like, well, now I'm staying on your couch because I could not get into a car and smell no, I know. the distillery. I, if you were going to sleep here, that would have been on your lap on purpose. Just, have you been drinking? No, why? Uh, <laughs> no, my buddy just rubbed me down in whiskey, actually, before I left. Mm -hmm. I have that. I have that. I have that. I always wanted some high west in my hair. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me get that for you. Okay, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. We're out of paper towels. Don't use all these. <laughs> We're always out of paper towels. You have a Sam's Club membership. We are out of paper towels like we can't afford them. Like, that's how we live our lives. We have shipped. People will bring us how paper towels. How much is towels. this bottle? Uh, not, so like a roll of paper towels is more expensive no, how much than is that bottle. bottle. Nope. How much is that bottle? I know where it's going. Because they watch you pour out a good <laughs> chunk 70, of it. 70 ish. Um, All right. Settle okay. down here, real okay. quick. Okay. All right. Dude, gonna... it malted always with those fucking. <laughs> malted always with those Canadian dollars, bro. Okay, so, Dram and KY. Mm -hmm. this, we're going to drink this UPK and tell you about it in just a second here. But Chris said for the decades, bottle $20 Super Chat donation. Ah, Thank thanks, you sir. very much. Thank man. you again for the, uh, the Elijah Craig. That's super cool. I appreciate it. <laughs> Malted Montreal, <laughs> dude. There were just two wows right in a row, and I'm pretty sure it was one I was long for. <laughs> just wow, wow. All right, cool. Um, there's like a mintiness to this. <laughs> okay, did we cheers Malted? No, not yet. Swami, thank you for Thanks, the Swami. super chat, man. We will spin the wheel. In we just appreciate a it. Here. Here's for your next supercut visit. He said, "Do you get your haircut supercut cut? No. You know where I get mine cut? You want to hear the name cuts? of it? No, no, no. I stopped going there. I hate that place." I hear them. You love the name. You know what? Like you've heard it, but it's, it's a typical salon name. A uh, Lady James. Devoted. Devoted. Wow. No, I go to Asani. 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 That sounds like a water company. Uh, for Mr. Daniel Herrera. That's that's the same. You gay? No. You are. He's awesome. I know. No, yeah. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I have no, and I have no problem with it. I'm open to it. <clears throat> and I only but schedule. You're, I always schedule Not my straight. haircuts at the end of the day so I can go there. <laughs> you too. And I can drink a beer. And if you get something on your shirt. And have a haircut. Where's that at? Sagno. You can drink beer there? Yeah. And you've never he, told me about this he place. He serves them to you. He gives you beer when you get your haircut. You're the worst friend I've ever had. <laughs> you're telling me I can go in and drink and get my haircut and you're yeah. like, why would I tell my friend about that? I have. You never told me about Asami. Okay. I, Asami. I feel like I have. Is it? Is he French? What is it? Daniel Hanamene? Herrera. He would be... Spanish as shit. Yes. Okay. Nailed it. All right. Uh, let me... He's very down. awesome. If you guys are uh, needing a haircut in the Saginaw area, go check him out. If not, okay. <laughs> Nathan? Dude, I got to read a couple comments right. that were absolutely Dude, hilarious. <clears throat> this baby is minty. I don't care what you say. Malta says, Asani, where you get a happy ending and a buzz cut. Yeah. Oh, it's like one of those massage parlors, but with dudes. I like it. And you get your hair cut. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so here's the thing. 
Uh, Lincast says, Dan's your aim is bad when you long pee in the toilet. Yes. Nah. <clears throat> He's been a guest in my house, yes. No, oh, it's not, dude. And especially in other people's houses, I always clean up after myself. In the toilet region, not necessarily table region. Not the floor. <laughs> I like the whole rest of the bathroom and I helicopter myself around. I had this conversation. We actually had this conversation not long ago with friends. It was like, okay. what you pay for a haircut? And it was like... You're back on haircuts? Yeah. Okay. Because the one girl was telling me about, she went and got a pixie cut. And the lady oh. just started by like buzzing one side. Okay. Just like go, that's not how you do a pixie cut if you're wondering. Dude, pixie cut is like shorter than this on the sides. With it like up in the air like that in the middle. They gave her this is what they gave her. Okay, that's more of a dude's haircut. Yeah. I was like, you know what's great? So that's I go what... sit down and I talk to my barber and I've never had to tell him how to cut my hair. And I've never books. stood up and Wait, been like... What do you mean? The first time you went, you had to tell him. Well, probably. That was okay. like a year and a half. You mean long. like you said it yeah, once? Yeah. Could, okay. It was like, I just sit down, shoot the shit with him for like an hour. It's a good time. But I've never fucking sat down and wondered like... This is gonna be awful. Am I gonna get the Lloyd when I get spun around in the Tell chair? Lloyd. You ever seen Down and Downer? Aaron Ravage one time got the Lloyd. He got really? spun around. I did, but it was from my It was like, ex. boom. He was like, cool, buying clippers. I'm gonna need you to <laughs> fix that immediately. <laughs> Went and bought clippers and had his wife <laughs> buzz his hair. Okay. Yeah, um, go ahead. So, uh, Nathan mm. Rue says, do they even have cops in Michigan? <laughs> They I do. tell you what, lot, drive on the highway, a lot, they'll find you. Here's the problem. Where we live, there's new crime. Like, the crime is all drugs. It's not like theft or stealing mm -hmm. or murder or anything like that, really. So, be, or there's probably a lot of, like, domestic abuse. Yeah. But it's all, like, behind closed doors. And just a little bit of hair. Only. <clears throat> That's why I said. I said drugs. Oh. But here's the thing. The, the cops during the day are often seemingly... They have nothing to do. Extremely bored. So they will write the shit out of parking Any tickets. Any ticket. Ten uh, tickets. Oh, yeah. You're going five <laughs> over in a 35 ticket. Probably ticket, yeah. They just sit. They just sit and they're bored. Here's the other thing Nathan Roos said. Ugh. There was another cop question. Oh, the cop would ask, is there anyone inside this car? It is dark. So he does like kind of like uh, illuminate. He would be like, sir, please turn down your radio. It's Bioluminescent. Right. Just radiating light. Trevor Wilson said, I try and clog toilet. <laughs> That's what Dan does, too. I don't try, but I have I got clog-proof toilets, bro. I... <laughs> ben said, I've heard you say that about him before. Um, which one? I don't know which <laughs> comment it was, but I said a lot of things about Sean, dude. Um, the barbershop by us, this is from Sam, mm. gives you bourbon while you get your hair cut. Ooh, that's, in the that's a one-up. I'm just meant to I be I just got fucking one-upped. Uh, Ryan Ellis says the barbershop I go to does old cool old school straight razor cuts, serves free PBRs, and has nude magazines. <laughs> Dude, that's super old school. So I get a razor touch up, but I don't get the straight. I don't know. I've had one friend that got a, a straight straight razor shave, and they were like, one time in your life, you need to get it done. It's amazing. I was like, can't do it. Chris, mm. Okay, Christopher Switz. I, I got to read this. This is very important. Hit it. Christopher Switz. What's the junkie's email address? I have two bottles of decades. I'll send you one. That seems like a bit much. Yeah, let, let us know how much money you want for <laughs> yeah. that. Um, the email address, email us and we can figure it out. It's bourbonjunk at gmail.com. Want to know why it's that? Because somebody. some fucking tool took bourbon junkies and didn't do anything with it. I know it's the guy from the comment on the goddamn <laughs> <laughs> proper 12 video. That little guy's a bitch. I'm taking the fucking email. Um, so bourbonjunkies at gmail.com is taken, but the funny thing is like nothing else to do with that name is taken. No. Period. YouTube channel, Facebook, none of that's taken. So bourbonjunk at gmail.com. Bourbonjunk actually is not a terrible email address, honestly. It's bourbonjunk. It's like minty syrup. This? Yubikaye? Yeah. yeah. Yubikaye is finished in uh, vermouth barrels, I think. You look at the front. I believe that's what it is. Mm, finished in vermouth in... Do you want to say that? Syrah? Where? S-Y-R-A-H. Syrah! You got Syrah barrels. Syrah! Produced. So there's a lot of this is, like a, this is a header hit this is a header this is a hit or miss whiskey for a lot of people yeah a lot of people don't like this it has kind of a nice like a interesting dry finish on it when I say that I don't mean it's like evaporate like pulling everything out of your mouth but it's like 
I mean, it, you can taste vermouth. It's got that like um, semi-sour-ish finish on it. And like dry, as Dan would say. Um, not like an over-aggressive I'm... like dry martini or anything like that. No, no, um, not anything got... like that. Though the, on their piggyback video where we put vermouth in there and it was like wildly too much, this is what you're probably supposed to have in there, like I, a hint of that vermouth flavor. I don't want to say it's like when I say this, everybody's gonna go, "That sounds disgusting," but take it with like it. a happiness aspect. Don't fucking say it. It's ginny, a little bit. No. Yes, it is. How much gin do you drink? How much do you know about whiskey? None. <laughs> okay, cool. So now that we're past that. So, it, but it has that, nope. that dry, fuck <laughs> you. It's that, it has that dryy, piney, a little piney note at the end. Nope. I don't drink a lot of gin, but I drink infinitely more than you. We just had some. Yeah. Not that long ago. Didn't we just, I'm pretty sure I just drank just maybe. I don't know what I drink. I need, I need it's help. called alcohol. I need help. <laughs> no, but for real. Um, so realistically, it has like that little tiny note at the end, but the palate is like a nice sweet clove, um, maybe a little bit of like allspice on like, the palate. For botanical I wise, like, like literally lot. mint is what I get the most out oh, of. Oh, so it's botanical. Yeah. Like a gin. But not gin. Like I a gin. I said for botanical. This is why I had to preface it with, well, I'm going to say this and you guys are all going to be like, ew. And Sean's going to be like, no, it's not. I, it's like a, It's like you took... Think about it like this. You may be a little bit more on board. Valentine does calf... This is so annoying. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Valentine does cask strength. Nope. Valentine does cask finish gin. There you go. If you completely emptied that barrel and it dried a little bit, and then you aged this and that, I feel like that was what you, that's what I'm talking about. All right, can you get a little on board with that? Not even a little bit. No. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Trevor Wilson said, I got a ticket for going 38 and a 30, pulled over in my driveway. Dude, that's when you get out and just run. No. no do, do not no, run from the Run. Play Sean stupid Jay, games, Sean win is, stupid prizes. Hey, Sean has ran from the cops in front of my own eyes before and gone to jail for it. That's where we're going you know what I, You know what I suggest? Run. <laughs> the problem is Sean ran upstairs in the house that he couldn't get out of. So we're gonna oh go my that, huh? gosh, I forgot about this story until right now. It's one of the greatest stories of all time. I won't tell the whole thing, it's too long, but someday you guys will find out. A little inappropriate. Why? You wouldn't, You just had to sit there for a night. Yeah. Oh, it was good though. It's a good time. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Not not everyone. Nobody's listening. Not not everyone knows. 71 people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but all these people they can know. No can know you went to jail. How does that affect you negatively? Professionally? No. Oh, my. You think your bosses watch this? You never know. Where do you work? This is why I keep it separate from work. Only the people at work in my group know this happens. Will they fire you for going to jail in college? I doubt it. They might. Oh, my gosh. If... <laughs> I just say where you work. <laughs> well, I do know two people who just got fired like uh, two weeks ago. For going to jail in college? No. Oh, okay, well that seems a little bit different then, huh? Just as dumb though. Yeah, but they don't like those people. They're he, trying to fire those people. He said the word boobs and got turned into HR. Oh, you told me this story. Yeah. That guy deserves to be fired. Mm. That guy deserves to be fired. Mm. You can't hit on chicks at work. Stop. No, no, he wasn't. You told me the whole story. Yeah. You can't imply sexism at work anymore. It's not Mad Men. He wants a little that too much That wasn't at all sexism. Okay, well, if you go to jail now, you could get fired. If you go to jail 20 years ago, because you're 70, you're not going to get fired for it. <sighs> Diaper money for the new kid, LOL. Cheers, guys. Carl H. Enrico Juan. $1, $1 super chat. Thank you, guys, for the super chat. Why are you constantly offended, dude? You're always so upset. There's, Just the way you said that. You're always so, <laughs> there are so dude, many people upset. You're worked up about the stories I tell about you, and it doesn't even matter. You act like people at your work watch this. You don't think they chat or talk to you about people it at work? Do, do your watch bosses? Work. Do they? Can they fire you? I don't know. I'm an at will employee. You know that, right? I don't. We live in Michigan. They can fire you for anything. You're stupid. But I will give you. I will pay your salary if you get fired for going to pr jail in college. We'll Who didn't out. go to jail in college except me? Name one person. That list was pretty short, wasn't it? Gaggy. 
<laughs> okay, well that makes a lot more sense actually. She seems like a responsible human being. I'm gonna drink some Son of Burr <laughs> Tram Hound. Next week on Bourbon Junkie, Sean live streams 40 hours. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know if the ads start increasing on our videos and Sean live streams way more without me, you'll know that I was wrong and Sean was right. <laughs> I also know it's not possible that it happens the way Sean thinks it's gonna happen. What are you gonna pay me if it doesn't happen? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, we missed some shit up here. Trevor Wilson, $5 Super Chat. My birthday is Thursday, and this is for the sample I'm about to win. Everybody take another drink, hashtag nutty spot. Cheers to all three of you guys. Thank you guys for the donations. Were you gonna, gonna cheers me? I'll tell way worse stories. Cheers me or I'll tell way worse stories. <laughs> Only because he knows way worse stories. Yeah. Like that's the best one. That tastes way better. And then bubble. This is for Trevor Wilson. Sir. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Community blend is very hot in here. Community blend, actually. Oh, we first, haven't done that one in a while. Night. You want to tell them what's in there? Here's the thing, Trevor. Now, you did not inevitably win a sample off of that, but you will he get does. a sample of that. No, like he didn't win a sample on the oh. wheel. But I was like, no, he definitely gets a sample of that. When this is full, everybody gets a sample of it. Ugh, I'm going to lose a layer here. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. I don't want to wear this shirt, though. Sean started lifting a couple days ago again uh, for one day, and uh, yeah. Well, you see the shirt I'm wearing, right? Oh, yeah. That that finally actually got there, so that's okay. Otherwise, yeah. I'd tell you to take it off. <laughs> All right. So warm. So, hold on just a second, dude. Carl H., thank you for the super chat, man. I'm just getting all these right now. I'm just typing them all in. Carl H. No, the spin. So. That thing looks rickety. <laughs> Carl H. wins a sample. So here's the thing. Here's the two things I need. Trevor Wilson. What whiskey do you want to go into the community blend? So far, we have. So far, there is Special Reserve, Weller Special Reserve, Henry McKenna, Russell's 10, Jack Daniel's Heritage, and Old Forester 1920. You get to pick an ounce of something that goes in here. Where do you see Henry McKenna on that one? That was the base we used for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We used the base of Henry McKenna. I was like, dude, that's not on that list. Nope, but we, yeah. that's what we did. Glad he remembers. us. Enrico said $1 to hear the story. Listen, I can't tell like Sean's bad stories. That'd make him so upset. If that makes him, if that baby story made him upset of like the only time Sean's barely gotten in trouble. Not a fan of it. That was one of my favorite stories ever. Like if I see you guys in person, I'm a hundred percent telling you about that story. That's one of my favorite moments ever. I've had better decisions in my life. It was just it was only funny, not because of what the outcome, but because of my <laughs> personal experience. Like how me, I didn't drink in college. Until I was like 21, basically, and I wasn't. Until he was old enough to spill it on my bed. I wasn't 21 at the time, was I? No. So I wasn't 21 at the time. I won't tell the story. But it was funny because I was completely sober. This event happened. In the way I, my interaction with the event. Because it also. My wife was there. It also involves another person we probably shouldn't talk about. Oh, Levi did some shit that night. Yeah. What you, what, Sean didn't really do much wrong, honestly. What, because. Especially compared to what our buddy Levi did. <laughs> All right, let's see. More of the story is, don't run from the police. Nathan says, "How do you find a wife and you can and you can't flirt at work? Guess they need to hang out at bars. Uh, just yeah. don't or don't work for companies that are like hypersensitive. Yeah. Or I, yeah, they got fired because of like something stupid though. That was that the story legitimately is ridiculous. It wasn't good." Uh, they wanted to thin out a department, and they did. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're just getting yeah. rid of people, and that was their reason. Uh, I'm Sean, or Scrappy McGillicuddy is the only person on your side who makes you feel better. I'm with Sean, that's when I've got to play it safe in today's world. Listen, dude, there's some other stuff I can't say about what Sean's currently doing. <laughs> okay, Sean's got a lot of fucking secrets. I don't have any secrets. And my, I know my boss could at some point definitely see this. I still have no secrets. Like, the, I went on vacation and they were watching these videos at work up on mm -hmm. the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Your office, uh, yeah. much, much cooler <laughs> than my office. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, let's see. The only people that know about this, I no longer work with. You're in a completely different department. I, I can't talk about this anymore because I'm going to say things you don't want me to say out loud. 
Hmm. Um, they're not bad. You just don't. It's just like where your future mm. and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. DJ Began, I didn't go to jail. The cops took the cups off, drove me to the frat house, and said, "Don't go out again that night." <laughs> that could have been one of Sean's okay. options. Okay. That could have been one right. of Sean's options. Um, Bourbon Frenzy says, "Bottle fund it." Right. Oh, the quick review. We will bottle fund it, man. Thank you for that. Thank you, uh, sir. That is ten more dollars towards the Wild Turkey Kentucky decade. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky decade. Wild Turkey Kentucky decade. All right. Jeffrey Wax says it's getting hot in her. Five Dude, it donation. is. Dude, it's hot as shit. I'm sweating. This is like the first day it's been over eighty. Well, maybe second day it's been over eighty in Michigan, and, and it is fucking hot in this garage right now. Yeah. <laughs> and we can't open the garage door because we'd just die. It's, it's hotter outside. Turn black it's hotter Because the mosquitoes outside. that would come in to murder us. Also, <laughs> you guys are this close to funding with your super chat a mobile <laughs> air conditioning unit for this garage. <laughs> it um, it definitely holds uh, conditioned air really well. That's why in the winter you'll see us in coats and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, an air conditioner would probably raise your uh, like your electric bill by like double out here a month. Double? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It Easy. actually stays really cool out here most of the time because of the brick. It does. But right now, it also stays really humid out here. So that's what I had the dehumidifier running. Sean left the, left the door open. I said, "Shut the door." He goes, "Eh, the dogs are out." I'm like, "Shut the door." I didn't know that was a thing. If you take the humid humidity out of the air, then? it makes it cooler, right? Yes. Okay. 100%. That's why in Arizona they're like, oh, it's only 105 out. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, we got three super chats. We got to get through these. All right, well, first Jeffrey one. Jeffrey Wack. Boom! Oh, didn't see that shit coming, did you? That's unfortunate. That's really a good nice. spin. <laughs> what was it? Oh, you are literally <laughs> not allowed to spin the wheel anymore. This is why everybody says Sean can't spin the wheel. And then you do, and then it lands on the you don't get anything one. <laughs> Jeffrey Wag, thank you for the donation. I'm very sorry that Sean spun the wheel for you. I Oh, I put these all in the wrong thing. Hold on. Put that shit in my hand. You roll me, yo, me, yo. I don't know. Just what. put it towards Bottle Fund then. I don't know what's happening. So if it lands on that, it goes towards Bottle Fund? Yeah, why not? We could do that. I, I hope that they're okay with that. You just get no pick. Jeffrey Wack, it's going to go towards Bottle Fund instead of you just getting nothing at all, I guess. Bad guy, Sean. All right, William Devon. Well, uh, well, we also might not be able to do that. It's a super expensive bottle, so when we hit 120, we'll have to give away an ounce sample of fucking. No, that's not. No, that's not how we're. We've talked about this eight times. It's not how we're doing it. You keep forgetting. Yeah. Okay. 100. percent You yeah. know my memory. Yeah. William Devon. That was the clone one, right? Devon. Because chicks want to fuck. Like to fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it landed on the same one twice. Okay, well... Well, move your elbow! I don't have any room because you put 12 bottles on my side of the table, asshole. You can't asshole. move it over there? No, because nobody can see... All right, guys, we'll spin from right here. Well, hey, your spin was just as fucking good as mine. Well, it's because it was... Okay, we had to mix it up. This is the issue. William, spin again for Trevor Wilson's birthday goes to Trevor. Well, okay, that was a really generous thing. So here's the thing. Did it just go back to back? You get nothing then for Trevor? No, Trevor gets the community blend. So Trevor gets a sample out of this. And it's almost full. So of like two more things, realistically, you think two more things in here? Three. And we already have one. So if two more things get put in here, Trevor gets a sample of that. Do I get to spin this or Christopher not? Schwitz, everyone gives Sean such a hard time, so this super chat is for a Sean spin. Well, you just watched that happen. Go ahead, dude. Thanks, Christopher. For the super chat, we appreciate it, man. That's gonna be a Sam skin. I just hope it anything but that fucking thing. Oh, donor choice. Dealer's choice. Boom. It actually says donors. It actually says. Read it. It actually says dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know what that fucking says. Uh, See? Okay, so here's what we still need. Right? You let me spin, you can spin. Carly, email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram so we can see. Um, I see, see, I just, what you want as a sample? I just think of Carl every time. Carl! All right. D Silv, I got a little tiny desk air condition. You just add water to it. It does a great job if you're close to it. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. That's not bad. Ooh. The thing is, we can't have the noise. We can't have anything really loud, unfortunately, because of that, because of the mic. 
So it'll be exactly like the heat. It'll start off really nice, and then after about an hour, you're like, motherfucker. Just shivering to death. Mostly me. Um, the air conditioner will be really good until we have to turn it off, and then the humidity just crept back in. Um, Diesel, Dustin, says uh, something that I agree with. Sean can read it. I'll tell him later. I'm not going to read it out loud, but I completely agree with you. You would agree, too. It's not like a secret. You just don't want me to say it out loud. Oh. Um... Carl H says, turn on the fans. Listen, I have a big ass drum fan. In that thing, you think that hum was loud last time? I went back and listened to that hum. That drum, we could fit Sean inside of that drum fan almost. It's like a 30 inch fan. If you, if Four you blades. turn Sean into the fetal position, you could fit him inside it. You plug it in and it pretty much creates a tornado in its path. You won't hear shit. Who are we missing right Malt now? Malt said the wheel is fixed. It is when Sean spins it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I had to pass says, my curse. Sean Dunn jinxed the wheel. Andrew said is the wheel bent. It's not. It's not. It's not straight. It's not, you know, it's one of those things. It's not bent. Hey, bro. This there's is a little, Amazon's finest. It's a little play. Okay. This is like a fifty dollar wheel on Amazon somehow. All right. I don't get it. Have good reviews. Hey, I'm really feeling the the Yippie Ki tonight. William, listen, Trevor. We we need to know Trevor what you want in here. Let me know. Pick any bottle. Well, Trevor, you're going to get something, dude. Hear me out. You're going to get something. <clears throat> Are we on to a different one? What's that? Well, I just had uh, burr rye. My least favorite non-American that? prairie is burr rye. Really? Of High West. I thought that was really good. Nope. It's just, it's just decent at best. It's pretty good. And then I'm going to move on to this burr rye. Just to give a little, little contrast. Oops. That, that sounded like you did not pour a little bit there. It's not a song. Mm. What does that look like? It's not a seat, not really fast. What happens if I do that? What was that? <laughs> William said respin it. Because it was for Trevor's birthday. I respun it. We got quick review. Let us know. Still not sample. And that's what they're looking for. Wow. Hear me out. Um, Trevor, tell us what you want in here. Tell us what you want in here. Cause if this fills up tonight, you get you're gonna get you're getting something, dude. Burr rye. Trevor says throw some Weller 107 in that bad boy, dude. Trevor's one of our moms. I gotta bring some. Home. <clears throat> we don't have any 107. You're the right absolute now. worst human being ever. Well, I'll just bring one. Because most of the 107 was on the floor, but we do. He has a bunch of 107 for a reason. So shout out to Jason who just gave me one on Saturday because he's a very nice person. And also, he apparently just trip out, trips over cases of them every Tuesday. It's a thing. Christopher Schwitz, I'm trying to find out if you uh, picked what you wanted. Chancellor says, hey guys, I scored a bottle of Bullet Rye 12 year. Get it tomorrow. Excited to try it. It's really good. Salad. It's really good, man. It's, um, if you like, um, like an old Forester Rye, you're going to love that Bullet 12. Dude, um, let's... See, what we, we miss it right now. Okay, Trevor, I'm gonna put in here that you want 107 in there. Trevor, 107. Diesel says, did you not get any 107 from Jason? Sean did get a bottle of 107 from Jason. It. So that will. Yeah. Uh, Sean, you have an open one too, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he has an open one. I have as well. one with like that much left at home. I'll just bring the Jason one and add it to the Weller. I'll just line. open it up and throw it in there. <clears throat> yeah, we I'll don't have one it, here anymore. I'll keep so. it on the shelf. That way we just have the whole lineup on the shelf. So let's see. I think for the we most, caught up. I think for the most part, except for the Adam. Okay, we just got another one. That's why we're not. So Adam Gaston, $10 donation. Thank you, man. Gaston. Gaston. Say it right. Gaston. I'm Gaston. <laughs> you even know where that's from? No. Okay. Clue. There's a song about him too. Adam Gaston? No. Gaston. Super Chat Showdown. Adam, what hey, bottle do you want it. to go in our Super Chat Showdown? Uh, which is when we get four bottles, mm -hmm. uh, when, when four people hit this one, each one of those people get to pick a whiskey, and that will be entered in the Super Chat Showdown. If the whiskey you picked wins, you get samples of those four. One uh, sample of each. Yep, one on sample each. Adam, so far we have Bland's Gold and. Um, we need an answer from another person who I don't see. I don't think he's in here tonight either. 
I haven't seen his name once in here. I've now, got his so. address. I'll just send him a, a letter. Yeah. So, so far we have Blanton's Gold. Um, let us know what you want to go in that Super Chat. Show on nothing on this shelf. Everything else is free game. In the highlights on Instagram. The on Instagram only bio. thing that I think is new is the Pingree 10 Year Blue Label. Yep. Um, other than that, everything should be current on Instagram. Okay. I'm on this Burr Ride right now. It's really not bad, man. I'm on this Burr Ride. It actually smells nice and sweet. So the thing that the burr rye is a mixture of bourbon and rye. That's yeah. their bottles where they mix the two together. I don't usually like it because so it's eighty bucks. The thing it's I don't tough. usually the thing I don't usually like about the burr rye is and I think this is one of these is a nineteen. This is it eighteen? Okay, so this is an eighteen. It's That's the old a fifteen. One. Yeah, you so say, that one, one has fifteen year old whiskey in it. This one has their new blend, which is like uh, eight to tens or something like that. I can't remember. It's I think it's on the site, but. Usually the burr rye, like usually that rye and bourbon mixed together, the way that they blend it, usually it just kind of flattens everything and nothing really stands out. And that's my complaint about burr rye. Wow. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Oh, we already did. We already did one, didn't we? A Southern burr rye. Jeffrey Wax says, tripping over 107 in Ohio is definitely a thing. Four bottles collected in the last 10 days. Listen, so Jay, near motherfucker. I missed the comment from Jason. Sean was amazed at the multiples in my cabinet. So we get there. Oh, 100%. Start talking about it. Not just his cabinet. Jason. In both cabinets. Yeah. Get multiples upstairs and down. Jason shows us like the cool, uh, his studio downstairs. And then we're sitting there and we're hanging out. We're chatting in the kitchen area. And he's got like a <clears> little like wet bar type yeah. cabinet thing in the kitchen area. And in the bottom of it, he opens a cabinet and pulls out, I think, six. Six, yeah, it was five. Six? Yeah, could have been. 27 107s. And uh, he puts them on the floor, and Sean's just like, we've seen probably two in a year. Yeah. In the last, so we've probably seen four in a year, I should say. The last two we've seen were, like were 60 bucks. and $70 yeah. Yeah. at stores. So in the state minimum <clears throat> in Michigan, that was 50 I'm going to start making my father go out. He lives in Columbus. That's a good idea. Yeah. State min here is 50 bucks. So realistically, at this point for us, I'm not willing to pay $50 for 107 period. If you didn't have one, you're probably closer to willing to pay 50 if you don't have one for yeah. 107. Yeah. I'm not. But now I have a, a backup. Because I accidentally forgot I had a backup. I had hit it basically on myself um, so I wouldn't drink the one I have so fast. And I was putting bottles away from a live stream a while ago that we did with uh, I Was Kishi Wines. And I was like, oh my God, I found one. And so I had planned on cracking open my new one, and I was like, shoot, I'm getting a solo. And then Jason gave me another one. I was like, oh my God, now I got two full ones, but I'll just bring one here. Yeah, we uh, don't have one. When, when we were bringing our poor man Pappy, Sean accidentally spilled a bunch of my 107 that I had. Well, he gave me a solids. Um, Whatever, dude, you still spilled a bunch. That's all <laughs> he gave I me a measuring cup for solids, so on those, there is no pouring spout, it's just flat. And I realized that after I filled it up, I was like, Oh, fuck. It was like, well, YOLO, and just got as much in there as I could. And by that, I mean most of it went on the floor. Yeah. Um, what did Adam won a uh, Super Chat Showdown? on? That's what it was. So Adam Gaston, we still need to know what you want to go in the Super Chat Showdown. Trevor Wilson said, if you don't have 107, throw a blank straight from the barrel in there. So here's the thing. If this is going to fill up tonight, and we don't have 107 here, yeah. Sean will just take it home and finish it with the 107. Yeah. So the 107 can go in there. Um, and I'm going to bring a bottle here. I know, but, here but I'm saying so we can send out samples of it. Because he wants a sample for his birthday. That's, uh, that's what he's trying to get uh, to. Right? We got you, got you, got you. Listen, dude, Trevor, you're our mod, dude. We only got two mods. ADHD Fishing is out on vacation right now. He can't mod. He can't moderate. How do you know that? We chat. We chat, and I told him I missed him. I feel like I'm getting replaced here, Rufus. He, he posted on an Instagram picture. And he goes, I'm missing so many live streams because of vacation. Mm -hmm. I said, I miss you. And I think I put a heart at the end. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Public knowledge. Who knows? So, let's see. Are there... Okay, so you have two more uh, midwinter right tram over there. Yep. There's one more Son of Burr Rye. And everyone can probably see the fucking issue going on here. Here's what we need to get to. The, okay, oh, the yeah. burr rye so Eight, far 10, is 12. really it's only thirteen. The burr rye is way more like bourbon than it is like rye. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. It's way more like a sweet rounded bourbon. The rye is a little flat in the back. 
I also think it's kind of just a little mid palette. You get a little sizzle or something in there, but it's it doesn't really stand out on its own. I think that the rye destroys the finish. There's like all, there's a very short finish on the burr rye. Okay, yeah, it makes it a little that. lacking and makes me want like a little more from it. it so I yeah, think it is that's so much why more it's that one of my least that favorite. Straight up, it's one of their limited releases. It's eighty dollars a bottle, and that's it's not. Makes it bad. If it was a sixty dollar bottle, I'm on board with it. So, yeah, the eighty dollar price tag is definitely what makes it bad. I feel like I keep watching things happen over there, and we haven't spun this in a year and a day. Dude, well, okay, I, that's because I haven't read them yet, but I need mm. to. I'm glad you said it. Mm-hmm. Bottle, uh, Patrick Fulmer, bottle fun. Rise seem to change drastically with time after opening. Cheers, Patrick. Okay. We completely agree. Yeah, I think most things. Honestly, I think most things get better after you open. Um. Yeah, we've had. Only if, I mean, I might be able to count them on, on one hand. hand yeah. <clears throat> the bottles have gotten worse when we opened them. Um, more often than not, a little bit of oxidation goes a long ways yep. for a bottle to open up Completely and angry. pull some flavors off from each other. Okay. Well, what are you on right now? Uh, I might. Okay, might get, to, get the Son of Burrai because we are, how yeah. are we skipping Son of Burrai? I only I have one Son of Burrai. I didn't want to drink it. Son of Burrai is better than Burrai. This is, might be a hot take for some people. Okay, so this is a... 2013 Son of Bear Eye, and you're gonna skip this? Yeah. 2013. Yeah. This is one of my newest bottles of High West. Look how empty this. This is one of my newest ones I own. Problem. You know who, where I got this? Problem. ADHD fishing. Oh yeah. Good yeah, sir yeah, traded yeah. me a store pick for this. Yep. Like a like a like a saint, <clears throat> like a real life angel. This is why he's a better friend than you are. I've never met him, but I. <laughs> Never met the guy. I downloaded an app <laughs> on Saturday, <clears throat> so this fatty could have some white noise to listen to while we slept. Yeah, it was free. I mean, don't act like you're like, okay, was it hard to search Google Play Store? It was. <laughs> okay, Bourbon Frenzy, bottle fun. I just enjoy that you two know about Pixie Cuts. Bourbon Frenzy, thank you for the super <laughs> chat. Thank you so much. Um, That's what I keep asking for. That's what I keep getting, though. Brian... Elvis says, gotta run, we'll catch the rest in the morning commute. Hashtag no dents. Do you know what that means? I'm 99% sure he's talking about Chris D'Elia. You know who Chris D'Elia is? Comedian? Yeah. Uh, long black hair? Yep, I know who Chris okay. D'Elia is. Chris you already D'Elia. asked, though, yes. Well, I know. Sometimes you just say it. Chris D'Elia has a podcast called Congratulations. He made a bunch of shirts and shit because he comes up with his own way of talking on his podcast. Mm-hmm. So, like, Yakuda is one of them. Like, are you a Barracuda? Yep. Like, piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, no dents means like I ain't got no dent. Like I'm like you have dents, I don't have dents. So when he sees Brian Callen, he always says like, "Oh look, it's Brian full of dents, Callen." And so it's like kind of like you're a bitch and you fucked up a lot and you didn't make it. Like, you see what I'm saying? How dents popular like a, is the Fighter and the Kid podcast? So popular. <laughs> and congrats, congratulations <laughs> from Chris Lee is so popular. Yeah, yeah. So Ryan said hashtag no dents. From it had to be from that. Okay. Had to be from that. Ryan, thank you for the super chat, man. That's awesome. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you, sir. That's wow, that was weakest. real bitchy. You want to... Yeah. <laughs> just start super chatting with All right, that's for you, man. I don't know if you're still in here or not. Did you just ding-a-ling it in the middle of the thing? I did. You pick our port. Ryan, if you're still in here, you I get to pick... I hit it off pick. the bottle, though, so I don't know why that thing had a seizure halfway through. Ryan, if you're still in here, you get to pick what the next thing we drink. Dude, for sure, this thing's about to come shooting out and take one of us in the eyeball. Oh, let me see. Let me see. move your hand. No, it's not. It's still attached to the very top. No, it's not. Yes, it is, bud. It's right there. <laughs> Look at the bottom. Sean doesn't know how things work. Okay. Do you see the space in there? Watch when I pull this down. Oh, look how it's not. You can see through it. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't. The, the screw no, I'm talking only this thing is about to come popping out oh, the that, bottom. Oh, that. That? I didn't know. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Not talking about the actual spring itself. The piece of wood that's being held in there by it is about to come shooting out at Mach 3. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Roos says, Oh my gosh, we're short on mods already. <laughs> <laughs> We've not needed a mod yet. Usually we pay attention to the chat. We try. Dude, Ryan Elvis says, Hashtag baby. So Chris Lee calls all his followers babies. Yeah. And they're starting a cult. And it's he called it a cult. <laughs> Chris D'Elia said this, this, is, this is his whole podcast he had somebody develop an app for him so they could have a cult he literally says they're going to buy a cabin in the woods and all they're going to do is suck and fuck and that's it 
As I swear to God, this is what he talked about in his podcast. And he said it's all mutual. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But And then they were talking about, like, guys or girls. He goes, whatever. Just whatever. I, I don't know. Whatever. It's going to be 98 dudes Dude, to two, two three girls. Chicks. Yeah. yeah. And those chicks might have used to be dudes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think that might be how the dent thing started, is he was on Fire and the Kid. So, he was on Fire and the Kid. And with Shab and Callan. Yep. And on the podcast, he's like, yeah, I just went to the doctor the other day, and I had an appointment, and I, like, walk in, I go to my appointment, and I walk out, and she and she goes, oh, my gosh, you're Chris Delaney. He goes, oh, it's not a big deal, like. I'm, I'm just, you know, whatever. And she goes, he's like, how much should I end? And she goes, oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. And he goes, well, I got to pay you. And she goes, no, 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 don't, don't worry about it. And he's like, so you know what? I, I gave her like five grand. And Callan's like, what? And he goes, yeah, I gave her five grand. You want to know why? And he, Callan goes, why? And he goes, because it didn't make a dent. <laughs> and he just goes off. Dude, he just goes off about how rich he is. It's so fucking funny. Oh, it's so All right, fun. I need to meet Chris Daniela De- and be like, you know what? If you call I'm, him Chris Delia, he's going to slap you in the face. Chris Deli? Gedelia. Everybody Gedelia? calls him Delia. Oh. Chris Delia is one of the funniest motherfuckers on the planet. I do. He needs to do another stand up. He hasn't done one. He does. I just went and saw him in LA. No, no, I mean like a Netflix stand Yeah, he had a full hour. I saw a full hour in LA that was all new. Oh. Yeah. I yep. haven't seen that it yet. It was really good. I haven't seen Spoiler that Spoiler alert. Hilarious. All right, so. Ryan Elvis. We caught Somebody up Somebody says yeah. great pick. Kentucky Owl Ride Batch 1. All right, dude. There it is, man. That's our next port. Uh, I don't fucking hate that. You know why? Because I'm literally drinking Midwinter Night's Ram. I'll drink the rest of that. You can have it. And then I get to go into that. I can't wait. <clears throat> Son of Barai is so much better blended and put together. Mind you, different years. And they don't make Son of Barai anymore. But. It's good. I, where is it? Oh, there's so many on this table. Yeah, you it's overwhelming a how many bottles of High West I have now that I realize that's burr. I got burr. That's old burr. I said that. That's midwinter. Oh. Try one. No, this one. You, bud, you literally went the wrong direction. This no, one. No, it's literally this one. Oh, it's that one right there. So the this is 46 percent 2013. Somebody asked earlier if they put the year on the front. So the batch number always starts with the one, year. Yeah, so the this first is one, two. Three, so it's 13. Um, it's not bad. Let's see. Are we caught up on this? The bourbon mash. Yeah. Yep. The bourbon mash bill, 75 corn, 20 rye, 5 barley. Is a Delicious. minimum of 5 years old. Okay. The rye mash bill, 95 5, is a minimum of 5 years old. MGP then. How crazy is it's it? MGP rye. That they're saying their minimums are 5s. Yeah. That's so much better than burr rye, it's crazy. It's not bad. I have an old burr rye. What's the old burr rye? 15? I don't know where that's at. Right it's a 15. It has, very, it has the really old bark whiskey <laughs> in it. In the very that the old burai is not as good as the sun of burai, just not. Yeah. But Ryan, thank you again, man. You pull that bottle down so we don't forget. I, I, my shoes definitely are not. Please and thank you. Batch one, he said. Batch one, he said. Uh, I can't read it right now. Oh, it's batch two. The problem is it's put on with a damn pen. Um. So that'll be our next pour. That's so a, that's the, a big one, the one we got to talk about, you have Midwinter and Instagram, so don't drink all that. Because the one I want to talk about is light whiskey. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Uh, did you bring Son it of Bari, Yeah. Son of Bari is my, out of everything on the table, ex, I, every high west on the table, Son of Bari is my second favorite. Really? To Rendezvous? To Midwinter and Instagram. Rendezvous is probably my second favorite. To Midwinter Night's Ram? Probably, yeah. Yeah. So Midwinter Night's Ram comes in first. Yeah. He is Son down. of Burai comes in second, but Son of Burai is definitely a sweet, nice, awesome, rounded, uh, really well blended and put together. Uh, it doesn't have I that just prefer the the, the rendezvous to it and like it, it has that same quality. It just um to the what? Like it feels very well rounded, mm. but it's a very well rounded rye. Like Yeah, it's more specific. Uh, it is good. I, I've not had a bad rendezvous. No. I've only had one son of Burai. They, like I said, they don't make it anymore, unfortunately. In and out, it's hard to find. Um, it doesn't go crazy on secondary or anything like that. Neither does rendezvous. No. The store picks go a little higher for the rendezvous, but... Mm. David Hatton says, I still haven't seen the tin cup. Dude, we don't have tin cup. We do not. We do not have tin cup. I will probably never own a bottle of tin cup unless it's sent to us. 
I will not purchase a bottle of tin cup. This man also drank Lot 40 cash drink out of a fucking shitty ass glass. Ooh, I have no regrets either, glass. dude. The, <clears throat> here, here are the two ways we'll get tin cup. One, somebody sends us a bottle and we'll review it. Two, somebody picks it for a bottle fund and we have to buy it. Those are the only two ways we have tin cup in this poll. second one felt real fucking sad. <laughs> it felt way worse. Way worse. Oof, man. Midwinter just feels special out of this entire lineup. Like, doesn't oh matter? Oh my gosh, dude. I love Son of Burry so much. I finished it. Does Midwinter Night Stream feel special? Yeah. It's the best High West product ever made. Like, I, I'm saying out of this entire lineup, does it feel special yeah. to you? Yeah. It's the best. Like, it's like, here's the thing. So, other brands and companies have lineups and they have a best. Mm. Everybody has a best, right? And yeah. that best is subjective, but I would say that 90% of the population agrees that drinks High West, that Midwinter Night Stream is the best High West. Yeah. It's weird. It's a weird one. There are not a lot of people that say bad things about Midwinter Night Stream. More people said the six wasn't as good as the past, but people still don't usually speak like not highly of it. The tin cup. Oh, the tin cup that comes with West when you sign up. Oh yeah, no, we both have those. Hold on. I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, you're talking about the actual like the coffee cup. So Dan apparently is gonna go get that, but yeah, we both do have that at home. Um, great. Now I can't read anything, and now I have a cat that's going crazy. You guys are gonna see Cookie. Oh. Hey, Cookie. I don't know where Dan was at. Blended all Granddad 114. All right. Um, I don't know who was talking about the tin cup, but okay. The cat's about to take our capture card out. Um, if you don't know, if you sign up for High West, is it their, like, just to be on their mailing list? What? Uh, for High West? Part of their club. Oh, you sign up on their club, they send you an introductory little thing, and of that is that nice little cup. Want to hear a funny story? Did you almost die? I, uh, nope. I ran out. Yep. So this, this cup sits in the center house of my truck, uh -huh. and this cigar was sitting inside of it. There's a cookie. And so the problem is, I also didn't know where you're at in chat, so I just start reading random shit. I'm like, all right, cool. All right. So this cigar is sitting in it. So I'm jogging back from the truck, mm -hmm. and this in one hand and that in one hand, and this slips out of my hand and shoots under your car. So I had to crawl under your car to get it. Um, I was reading about someone reading. Um, who was it? Yana, blended old granddad 114 and Evan Williams single bear. That's interesting. Let me know how it went. Uh, Trevor Wilson, is it similar? Is he talking about the midwinter? Is it similar to the other High West products? You, you can tell it's part of the lineup. The profile on Midwinter Night Stream is drastically different. Yeah, it's the like the darker fruit, um, like really good cinnamon spice. Like uh, it's all around like really good. It smells so. I swear to God, dude, I explained this to somebody the other night. Somebody said, is Midwinter Night Stream? I just got a bottle and haven't opened it. I said, this is what I said, dude. And, and you know what? I feel like I'm a thousand percent right. And you'll probably agree. What? You open Midwinter, Midwinter Night Stream. Yep. It's fall. Okay. You start a nice little fire. You put a hoodie on. You pour yourself some Midwinter Night Stream in a nice glass. Doesn't have to be a Glen, a nice glass. Yeah. You sit in front of said fire with mm -hmm. a nice, cool fall breeze coming through. Maybe a nice cigar. In a nice, comfy chair. And that bottle will go. Yeah. That bottle will just go. It's um, an easy drinker. It's perfect so fall whiskey. tasty, man. Yeah. It's perfect fall winter whiskey. Um, and then I smell this, and I'm like, oh, fuck off, High West. That's uh... <clears throat> Boom. I haven't smelled nope. one of these nope. in, in years. Did you just say no? Bourbon Frenzy said, I don't like when dad and dad fight over the wheel. <laughs> hey, so here's the, you guys want to hear the funniest part, and I won't use names. We heard a story this weekend that somebody saw us on somebody else's uh, live stream, I believe, is how we were seen. And they are like, those two are gay, right? And they're like, no, no. One of them's married, the other one lives with his girlfriend. One has a kid and a kid on the way. He's like, 
oh my gosh, I thought they were gay this whole time. We just died laughing when they told us this. And they, they're like, yeah, um, they always say like their collection, their whiskey, their blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I just thought they are gay. And I'm, she's, they're I like, get it. I no, get it. no, no, they're not gay. Uh, and then Kentucky All comes in and smashes Men One Night's Dram for me. Probably it's Dan. You need to smoke more cigars. I'm smoking a Patron 4000, drinking on my back porch, watching you guys. Carl H., you messaged me the other day and you said, Do you drink or you smoke cigars often? I said, No. So here's the thing this cigar, maybe you'll know about it. It's a San Cristobal. Okay? Quintessence. Quintessence. I don't know how. Is that. What word is that? Do you know? Quintessence? Is that a word? Yeah. That's the name of this. San Cristobal Quintessence. I don't know. I don't know if you've had it. I don't know if it's good. I bought it the other day. We'll see. <sighs> what? You, you okay? No. You okay? I figured you bring some matches out and we just start smoking right now. In here? Uh, it will never leave. Well, you'll just die. It will I'll feel yeah, fine. I'll get really you'll sick. You'll die. I can't do that inside. No, we'll do that afterwards. Guy Davis said some people have no gaydar ability at all or their gaydar is too good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, oh no Scrappy McGillicay that KO is a rip off compared to the 13 year old Fitz oh Ooh. that's interesting that's an interesting statement because I'll fight you well that's also $200 yeah that's what he's saying that's rough I would that rather that is rough pay 200 well, batch, for that and batch 1 that. was 150 but get oh, your shit one? straight is that batch 1 yeah okay he called out batch 1 okay Batch 100, one is 150 for this versus uh well we paid 150 for that. I will If we're going on what we paid, I paid 125 for this. Yeah. Not a rip off. Didn't this just come out today? Monday? No, it's Tuesday. So it's Tuesday. We put this out yesterday. Yesterday. Um we weren't wildly on board with it. Um this does not feel like it is $150 whiskey to where this feels like $150 whiskey for both of us. Right, you agree? Yeah. Oh my, are you going back into it right now? Oh, we, yeah, man, yeah. it was it was recent enough. Did you begin? My liquor store contacted me, offered me the old fits for one fifty. Thought it was too steep to buy. I think one. Now I'm glad we had one, and we wanted one to review, and we also wanted one because we have the other two. We don't have the fourteen, obviously. Uh, for fifteen, yeah. Or for, I'm sorry, for one hundred fifty, yeah, to have which, one. What's actually funny is if um. Coming off of rye mm -hmm. under that, I, I feel like I pick up more of the the spiciness in the end. On that, mm -hmm. is it? Do you think it's better? Like a cinnamon in there. I don't know if that's better. Might be. Yeah. Um, because the 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 bourbon sweet notes are super amplified. Because, I mean, that is sweet, but mm -hmm. not like this. This is like well, that's mega bourbon sweet. and that's yeah. rye. Yeah, I know. But Kentucky Owl is a sweet rye. Yeah. Um, but that is mega sweet yeah. compared to that. It's a weed weeder. You'll get that. Um, oh. But. For me, 100%, I'd rather pay 150 for that than the old Fitz 13. So I think three or four people okay. said they're gay but not out, or closet gay, or a bunch of those types of things. Okay. All right, yeah. sure. Yeah. That's fair. Whatever. I mean, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> uh, you nodding at the cane with the whole Carl time? Carl <laughs> said that's a nice cigar. Somebody else said it was a pretty good cigar, or it is a good cigar. Gabby said, oh God. and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame her. Um, William says, they smoke cigars or what? Sometimes, from yeah. time to time, Jam Man KY says, you won't smoke in your garage lane. Dude, because it's also a gym. Yeah. So it can't just smell like smoke in here all the time. <laughs> and yeah, so you come into here and like it would just permeate into everything. Uh, we can step outside and do that. Uh, that makes sense. I it's not raining. It's really nice. Yeah, I usually it's do it. colder outside. We have a little bit of a, a covered section on our deck. So it's like really nice to just go sit out there, have a nice little pour and a cigar. But eh, like once a week maybe is kind of where I'm going to try and pace myself at. I can't have two expensive hobbies. Um, yeah. The other thing is... No, I cannot. That midwinter night's ram. Wow, there, Chief. What? Put that down. Is, Pour three ounces in there. His nice, plummy, mm, allspice, cinnamon, a little nutmeg. 
So like all the baking spices yeah. all on the palate. Yeah. And then when it goes away, it just fades in this nice, sweet, like, spice. It just kind of lingers on the tongue, mid-palate. It's just the, awesome. <clears throat> the dark fruit aspect of midwinter is something I haven't seen in a lot of, um, like, better rise. They're usually, from what I've seen, is a lot more rise that I've seen now are going towards more sweeter notes. And I think it's really to rope in a lot of bourbon drinkers. Um, it's a really relatable flavor when you get that nice sweetness up front, and then that rye is a little something on the end. You're like, oh, that's different. Wait, right, who do you think? What do you? Which one are you talking about right now? I think most mid-winter. most rye, yeah, midwinter's um, not very emulated. You and, think that they took? It's because it's finished in port, though. Yeah, it's delicious. But you think that they did that because to entice more bourbon drinkers? I guarantee it. Fuck no. Oh, I guarantee it. Nope. What? Here, here's Everyone's why. making rye right now. Here's why. Bullet. Fucking rye, MVP yeah. rye. Okay, I didn't yeah. say it. I'm saying midwinter specifically. Old Forster rye. Midwinter mainly makes rye, dummy. I know, but I'm saying like this one is not emulated a- among other ryes. Like no one else really goes for those darker. It's the like, perfect rye. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He said yeah. Nope. Cut the tape. Cut it right there. He agreed and said that midwinter next is the uh, perfect rye. It has its time. Whew. It is perfect. Oh, who, you know what? I'll get it out just to show you, Nathan Roos. What's up? He said, I don't see any bell meat. Oh, we got one. He said, is it because of lack of availability or Mostly, lack yeah. of interest? Um, I would love single barrel bell meats, but they don't come or to Michigan. Nice cash ring. They don't come to Michigan. Yeah, single barrel cash ring. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, they, none of the, no bell meat is shipped to Michigan. So the only one we have, we've had other ones, mm. but... The only one we have is the Bellmead Sherry, and yeah. I don't like it at all. Or I um, didn't the last time I had it. Oh. I don't know the last time I oh. had it. Uh, okay. It's really sweet. I remember that. That's. Uh, I remember it being the most overbearingly sherry. PX Sherry? Oloroso. Oloroso, wow. Which is funny, because PX uh, is normally sweeter than Oloroso. Nathan, thanks for the super chat, man. It smells sweet as fuck. It's not as bad as I remember, but there's this weird finish on it. Um, we've had like the cast strength that we've liked a lot compared them to some of the other MGP stuff like that. Uh, Scrappy said, a couple people actually, Scrappy was one of them, uh, wow. said something about like the decanter on the old fits being like a chunk of the money and I completely agree. All the old fits releases we haven't, so exclude the 14, but okay. that's more expensive. Um, the 9, 11, and 13 old fits, none of them have been worth the like 130 to 150 price range. No, and but we really liked the 11. They're coming even in still. They're coming uh, in like a really fancy bottle. So if you, can, bottle. if you can subtract $50 for the bottle. So eventually, if you empty it and you have a sick decanter bottle to do your like infinity blend or whatever you want into it, um, you got that going for you. But other than that, man, 130 is just. Did, that's a do you have any place. Kentucky All Rye left? That one. Okay. I've been nipping on that. It's ridiculous. This it's night is and day, so though. cinnamon dill. Yeah, it's like night and day. I think dill when you smell I don't think it's that dilly. Just it's, think It's that. not think like the, the ten year Willet or anything. That one slaps you with a pickle. Just think dill a little bit when you when you smell that. This is for Nathan Ruth. Tell me what we got, dude. I'm gonna take it in right now. Quick review. Dude. Um we kind of did that with the Bellmead, but if you want to pick something else, you can, man. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we can taste the Bellmead and actually give you notes on it if you want. Yeah. Um, I mean, the hint, the hint of hint of dill. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? I think that's the it first exists. time I picked it up, but I, it's always been there. I think you got to have something I've like never the 10-year Willet to really just smack you with that dill, and you're like, that's Hi, that. Brandon had mentioned before that High West has dill and it took me a little while to realize that that's what that some of that I thought it was a niche before but it's definitely dill um the only one I kind of got that out of was the Yippie Kaye it's got a hint of that like that minty dill really okay yeah. I think the Rendezvous actually has it that guy um that it. I don't like the cast strength I have much only bell meat I don't love that's interesting that's what uh, D Silk said he said I don't like the cast strength that much oh we had uh, oh, one I don't want. fantastic, but I feel like those are going to have a lot of variants in them. Dude, Carl said, yeah, I've had a few of the old fits from friends, but I'm not really a weeder person. To me, it's like drinking a flat soda. Carl, you and I get along, man. Sean's way more into weeders than I am generally, 
Like and just I'm, a, it, I'm, that's a yeah, very that's general a statement. Blanket statement. But Sean likes the Wellers way more than I like the Wellers. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually like the Last Old Fits more than Sean likes the Last Old Fits. But most of the time, like you like Makers more than I do. Yeah. A lot of that weed and stuff, I'm just not usually super into. Um, I think for me it was just expectation of a hundred and fifty dollar thirteen year weeder. I was expecting some glorious things out of it. Here's the thing: you want a little complexity. It felt, yeah, it you want felt a, super simple. This thir- that thirteen year, and we've heard it from other people after uh, on our review. I believe in the comments mm-hmm. on our review, I've heard like the complexity is low from other people now. Yeah. We thought the complexity was insanely low for being a thirteen year old whiskey. So it is what it is. It's fine. It's okay. Just a bummer. Um, Brandon said new Dan would come around to the dill. And you're right, man. I was I, I was miss. Um, like rec- I was recognizing the wrong thing. You used to have a wrong cue built yeah, in. Yeah, I was thinking like a niece kind of like Clovey and niece mm-hmm, somewhere mm-hmm, in there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Kentucky Owl's damn good, dude. <laughs> James Class says, "Do you say wieners or weeders?" I'm way more into wieners than I am weeders. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. DJ Beacon, look. Look, think I'm crazy all you want, but I'm telling you, I noticed the difference. What did you tell him you noticed the difference on? Oh, I need to know. try your 1792 foolproof inside, then go outside and try it. Makes it taste so different. Okay. Yeah. Listen, Hold up. Trevor, yeah. <laughs> you have the 1792 foolproof? There is. Oh, yeah, I have one open. Yeah, Wait, I definitely have one on. open. Yeah, I have like, I think I have three or four. <laughs> Um, I know I've got one at home at least. There's, I'm there's sure another one over there on the bunker shelf. I think there might be one on the, on the store pick shelf if there's not. I gotta put my shoes back on. It's getting really warm. It's starting to cool off a bit though. It's colder outside than it is in here. It's nice out. It's really nice out right now. Okay. Okay. These are not slip on shoes uh, that I'm now slipping we, on. Oh, we didn't do the light whiskey. We, we, got, we, the only we one took missed. so long and we didn't do the light. It's 11. It's been two hours and we didn't do the light whiskey. It's not good. I don't know why we would do it. All right. 1792 full proof. Thank you, Ryan. That's Always. a good pour. That was really good. I wonder what Midwinter Nice Dram is at Cast Strength. Damn. I that is a lot better of money. than I remember. I would pay a lot of money for Midwinter Nice Dram at Cast Strength. All right. Oh, fuck. That's a really good pick. Okay. We're going to do light whiskey, and then we're going to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Where is the light whiskey at? There it is. It's pretty good. So, we'll be right back. High West, very rare 14 year old. Uh, this is the second slash third batch of light whiskey, which is the last oh, batch. This is like the last batch that they did. Um, 46% alcohol by volume. It's not Canadian whiskey, but it is light whiskey. If you guys are wondering, it is, they said we were lucky to find 100 barrels of light whiskey produced from corn and aged in second fill barrels, so it's not bourbon. That time in wood had an amazing effect on the light spirit and pairing incredible vanilla white chocolate notes, rare, beautiful spirit, blah, 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 blah. So, here's the thing, man. Light whiskey has different rules. Uh, most light whiskey is distilled to 94.5 ABV. So, oh, I think this is good, man. Trevor says, Dan is a man of science. I am, dude. Dude, he's not fucking wrong. Okay. Dude, I'm not even fucking with you right now. He's not fucking wrong at all. Go outside and smell that. It smells better? Did you drink it outside or just no, it smell? It smells way better in here. Really? Yeah. Did he say better in here? Oh, I don't Skin know. McMark's in the chat, dude. Hey. If I missed you before, I'm sorry, dude. I usually don't miss that name, though. I don't know if I, all I can smell is your swamp, but uh, it, I don't live in a swamp. What name the closest water? That pond right over there. Okay, how far away is that? Hundred feet. Six acres. It's a hundred feet. You want to try this? Prefer really? Me. Okay. I won't drink all. You can try it out of here. You need to go. You need this to smell this. This light whiskey is a lot like Canadian whiskey. Try honestly. this and then walk outside and tell me what you smell and see if we have the same. Same thought about it. This light whiskey... Whoa, that light whiskey smells weird now. This light whiskey used to smell like uh, Crown Royal's uh, 13-year blunders mash, kind of. Oh, fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's really good, Kind of like Canadian like that. bourbon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It kind of That was kind of the idea. That Canadian bourbon. Now it smells kind of like acorns. 
I didn't try it yet. Let's see his power and suggestion. Light whiskey is just distilled at a higher ABV. Yeah, it's um. Yeah. It's it's definitely. It was not God. insanely cheap. I didn't get it for retail, but I didn't get it. I got it below secondary, so I just had to have it, man. They said it was their last one. I couldn't get to Utah because we lived forever away from Utah. I I know that they did a campfire store pick at the distillery only. That would have been awesome to get. The I wish I hope someday they do a midwinter nice tram store pick. Now that they have their own whiskey in it, they're transitioning some of their source to their own. Hopefully their stuff stays good. This is why I'm skeptical of where it's going. They were bought by, uh, not Campari. Um, Whom? Sell. Fuck. It's like it's like Stella. It's not Stella Artois. No. It's Who like it means about? like stars and shit like that. Stars. Oh. Solaris. No. Just try it here. Who bought High West Distillery? When I typed in Who B O. Okay, Google. You're listening a little heavy right now. <laughs> Oh, they know. Constellation. Okay. Constellation bought. Uh, you meant a group I, you know, of stars. And I, I meant. meant to answer this question earlier. Somebody asked, how do you feel about Constellation getting into like marijuana and stuff like that? I couldn't give two shits, man. It's gonna, marijuana is like in a weird prohibition area where they're almost at the end of it. And yeah. so in like five years probably, it'll just, I, be normal. It'll just be a, it'll be like alcohol, I would yeah. imagine. Constellation is probably, everybody that's getting into it now saw that the bubble's coming. So now everybody's like, oh my gosh, you gotta get into it. And the Constellation, Diageo, all those people have tons of money, so a lot of those people are gonna start to try to get into CBD, Why not? hemp, THC. Do you think something's gonna make you, you know, uh, 105,000% uh, ROI? Yeah, you're gonna get into it. Dude, it's acorns and corn. It's a lot of corn. I mean, just a hint of nut. Um, it is kind of like that blender's mash with that like super sw- simple um, Ford sweetness. But it has no fucking finish on it. Hmm. Like three people say Constellation in the chat. We appreciate you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Constellation bottom. I don't know how the employee move over process worked. I know that they kept some of their blenders. But I know that it, I think at least two of their blenders left. Hmm. One of the things about High West. The, realistically, the main reason High West is so successful is because of their capabilities in blending. Um Dude, that's all of the everything on this table, none of it single barrel, no, mm. almost all of it sourced. Yeah, the pretty people much there were they incredible at blending whiskey. That's what. That's why I was lived and died on it. Was their ability to blend whiskey, yeah. source and blend it. Now, you can source whiskey all damn day. Yeah, and Dixon Deming is a monster at blending. Yeah, he is. So were the people at High West. Now, one yeah. of those went to. I wish I could remember. I know at least one of them left. I think two of them left. So. That makes me a little worried. I don't know if they didn't like Constellation. I don't know if Constellation kicked them out. I don't know the story, but I, don't know. I hope the team can stay together that's making incredible whiskey. You gotta, you gotta follow whiskey. their their offerings and see where they go. Yeah. But for now, we can conclude that you're a super fan. Yeah, there's a lot of high left on the table. There's 13 bucks. There's two more over there. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and there's 14, two. 15. I think I guessed 15 Hold earlier. On. I don't. I'm trying to think if there's one in the house or not. Oh, for sure. There might not There might not be. I have 15 bottles of High West. And there's a, there's an, there's two empty High West over there. Oh, I had 17 bottles of High West. <laughs> I mean, I bought Listen, I know West. where three more Midwinter Night's Drams are for 100 bucks. I just don't enjoy High West as much as him. The only one I'd probably buy. Um, the only is one. Boone. You wouldn't buy Midwinter for ninety. For ninety, yeah, maybe. If you could find it for ninety, yeah. You wouldn't buy Double Rye for thirty-five. No. What? No. I'd rather spend sixty if I'm gonna go for it. If I'm gonna go for High West and want to ride. Thirty-five and sixty aren't the same price bracket. No. But whatever, dude. Okay. Thirty-five. Whatever. I'm just gonna go get Old Forester Rye and just be happier. Trevor Wilson, top three. Okay, okay. What do you want? Top three favorite High West products. Midwinter Night's Dram. Yep. Rendezvous Rye. Yep. Sun and Burr Rye. Mm-hmm. Yep. Easy. Trevor, do you have any Kentucky High West? Owl. Uh. <laughs> they started, uh, Brett Colombo says, 
they started mixing their own distillate too early and quality went down. Their distillate isn't that great in my opinion. So I don't, here's the thing. It's going to be really hard to think about it this way. You're sourcing from Pro, MGP and Barton. Who have done this for a very long time. Two of the. And have a very, very uh, repeatable mash bill that they put out to a lot of different people. Um, and then you're going to try to throw your own stuff in there and try to recreate that. That's going to be fucking hard. I don't even think that's the problem. I think the problem is... I don't, I, don't, I don't think the difficulty is the issue, I guess, is what I would say. I think the problem with it is you're going to take... What they're, what they're trying to do is make Midwinter Nice Jam yeah. not sourced. Okay. That's what I imagine, you, right? You're trying to emulate what is being sourced in your yep. own district. You're trying to do it slowly. It's hard. You don't want... So what you don't want is you don't want a jar. No, you, you don't, can't just do a, a complete stop and I'm go a, to your own thing. I'm a big fan. If if midwinter nights, uh, midnight, midwinter nights ram, it's if, gonna suck. If batch five is all source it's and then suck. batch six is all theirs, that's a jarring moment for me when I buy six and I taste it right and mm-hmm. I go whoa whoa whoa. You mm-hmm. went one through five and they're all really so good, good and then six is drastically different. You don't. That's what they're trying to avoid. Um, that's why they're starting to slowly implement their product. You cannot possibly slowly implement young product into blended whiskey unless you were already sourcing young MGP and that yeah. was part of your product. Yeah. So the Son of Burai, for example, that was five and five years. Yeah. Right? If they have five years, they might be able to slowly implement that. Midwinter Nice Jam wasn't five. But you could also make five year old whiskey and realize it tastes nothing like what you're trying to blend that's it all, with. Yeah, yeah. So profile, five and five, you're just like, true. Jesus, that's what I'm saying, trying to say is like, you're trying to emulate a long standing product yeah. that is going to take time to get to where that you can emulate that product mm-hmm. into your blend. Yeah. And it's going to be slow and steady. So no, I, I wish nothing but success for High West. I don't have an issue with them blending their own stuff in. <laughs> um, my worry is that, like, if. My worry is more less about their distillate and more about the the blenders staying together that were there, like the group that was there, and them hiring in like people for less money that are just willing to do it and put it in a bottle. Yeah, there has to be some love there. When before How West sold, that group of blenders was incredible. Like I don't think there's any argument that they weren't really good blenders. No, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's not the argument. The argument is like, do you think that's worth eighty? Maybe you don't, maybe I do. Yeah. Do you think, would you go with this for 35 or that for 35? The difference is, like, this. they're good at blending whiskey. Yeah. They were. Yeah, if they split up, who knows, man. If um, Constellation decides to hire people who don't give two shits and just put whiskey together. Sean and I can put whiskey together. Not well, right? But we can put whiskey together. And that's why we know you can't, you can't blend young whiskey and be successful if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh! <clears throat> if you have an infinity bottle at home, and you want to ruin it, I should have two it with ounces that. of like two year whiskey. Put two milk. ounces of shitty young, like drastically. I don't care if you have a half a gallon. Harsh grain, Good corn luck. forward whiskey in it, and your whole thing will taste like. That. I will recommend Spring Mill. <laughs> it'll it'll it goes far. Um, Dream Man. Aging in Utah will never taste like MGP because of climate. That's for, that's definitely true. Yeah. You're not wrong. But I don't need it to taste the same. Listen, the Kentucky nope. Owl batches aren't even supposed to be the same. Mm-mm. I don't think that that is a bad thing. Listen, Barrel Bourbon is making an entire business off every single batch being, being drastically different. different. Yeah. That's that's acceptable now. Now that is well. acceptable. Now, with uh, bottles like Double Rye and Rendezvous Rye, yeah. they're, they're not supposed to be drastically different. No. Now, will I collect them because they're different? I think that's obvious. Well, you can price look at the balls on me, the table and say that. For Dan, oh yeah. yeah if old like, foresters were different, you would collect them. You wouldn't collect anything. No. What would you collect? Well, or antiques or something? Why am I collecting shit? I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, all these are open. The yeah. only reason those midwinter night drams are closed is because I have one open. I just finished one. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't keep. We don't. Neither of us keep. I get shit what you're clothes. saying now by collecting. Yeah. Yeah. You're just oh, gonna I'm keep sorry. buying them. These, yeah. This is a collection. Even yeah, though they're you're gonna all keep open. buying them to yeah. drink them. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to taste the 13 Son of Burai next to a 15 Son of Burai. It's gonna take about probably like two or three iterations mm-hmm. of shit where I'm just like, I don't know. 
I'll give up. Yeah, yeah, and then be like, someone will eventually tell me when he gets good again. That's I I completely agree that if 19 isn't good and 20 isn't good, I'm like, well, shit, it fell off. Yeah. Yep, I completely agree. With you. Uh, and then we'll get told by some other whiskey tube to tell us when it's starting to get good again, and then Dan will have another problem. Probably. Yeah. Yep, but for now, I'll keep enjoying it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for staying. Thanks for hanging out for the seven-hour uh, stream. Super fun. There's still somehow 61 people in here. Holy Damn. shit, dude. Thanks, guys. There were 70-some people in here for most of the time, which it's is good out fucking late. Apparently, people really like High West. Just Mashing like you. Drum is back in the chat. Came back for a round. He gave the old circle jerk, as I like to call it. Hey, dude. listen. Mash and Drum, with all 60 guys in the chat, Mash and Drum streaming tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, uh, Jason, put your time in the chat. Go watch his uh, stream. It'll be a good time. Um, dude, Chris, here's the thing. The one thing I missed, Chris mentioned something like a few times and he kept retracting it mm. and I didn't see the one he finally posted. Mm. So I hope that I didn't miss something he was talking to us about. I don't think he retracts it. I think that... No, the, uh, you can retract it. And it says, oh. If you misspell stuff, you can retract it. Oh, I thought like, um, usually you put some stupid shit in there and then oh. YouTube's like, no. No, no, no. No, no, because I have, so I have... I shouldn't say this, but I have our chat set to letter E, so you guys can post whatever the fuck you want, but yeah. that's why we have two <laughs> mods. So anyways, um, definitely don't that's letter up to E. Us. Yeah, so the, somebody asked, uh, Nick Foles, have you guys had Bardstown Bourbon Company Whiskey? We did that on our last live stream, did we? and... We did that last? Huh? We those two four ounce. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that was, yeah. So here's the thing. Was That's it, not at all what I was thinking. I believe it was the Fusion one. It's a green label. Just go. The green label is a $130 bottle of whiskey. And we both really liked it. Sean yeah. said it wasn't worth the money, and I said it was. He kind of talked me into it after, like, after we got the done. Old fits, dude. Yeah. That's what it That's was. That's really what did it. It was like, dude, we paid that for old fits. We paid like, $150 for old fits. We split it, and we, yeah. didn't, we didn't even consider we didn't not enjoy, splitting yeah. it. We didn't enjoy it as much as we had that one. That, the, the Fusion, I believe. The green label Bartstown was so much more interesting. Grab it real quick. What? We're ending. We're shutting her down. Just grab it real quick. Uh, yeah, that's it. Discovery? Discovery would be the Discovery is the one that we want. Okay. Because I didn't say Discovery had uh, four. Oh, Fusion has Fusion, their young yeah. ones in it. Yeah. Fusion has the two young ones with the 11-year in it. Um, the Discovery has got mostly old stuff in it. And it's really good. Yeah. Uh, Jason from Ash and Drum told us some of that's wild turkey. Yes. And then backed it up with facts. So. Yeah, he's like, let me, I'll show you my dick pic right now. Okay, so the other thing I want to say, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining us. Uh, check out the, the challenge coins will be out soon, our, our second round of yep. challenge coins. Um, we still got t-shirts if you guys want them. They're on Teespring. All yep. the links, Patreon, if you're a $10 or higher Patreon supporter, uh, you get a free we coin. We have tapestries. We have tapestries. Oh yeah, we got all those things. But thank you for your support. Shit. Thank you for every super chat tonight. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. Tonight was a lot of fun. Yeah, even though awesome. that Dan is way more of a fan. Sean of can. Than me. That's the thing. So we'll probably go back and forth on stuff like this. Um, this is by far the most either of us have of one distillery. But these guys have a really big. I was going to say they have the most comprehensive dis um, like offerings of most distilleries. Mm -hmm. Like Old Forester has a lot. They don't have this many offerings. Next time, Sean will get to pick the distillery. Um, yeah, thank you everybody. Thanks for out. Like I said, thank you. Thanks again for hanging for out. Chats. It's a fun night. Whiskey Frontier says I'm drunk. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the right place. Uh, Mash a drum tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, I believe he said. Mm -hmm. Yep. Opening new bottles and making a viewer blend. Dude. Ooh, good idea, man. It's so much That's fun. That's what we've been doing, and it's. Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. This I'm is gonna be so much fun. I'm excited to send this out and drink it with the people. Yeah, it'll be so much fun. So. Thanks, everybody. Still jealous of that WLW. I just see it. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Hey, boy. Hey, thank you, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. Do that. We thank almost you. hit our $200 goal. Ooh, $200. We are. We're actually, because we went and saw a mash and drum, Jason. Um, and got super jealous instantly. He's got a, he's got like a, a sectioned off studio. Yeah. So I actually texted Taylor tonight. Yeah. Um, to his cousin does drywall. He and does like all construction. Stuff. So, and um, we decided that we're gonna try and actually build a room in for us. Yeah, so we, we can, like there's this is a really this is a pretty big pole barn, so the wall is actually a long ways that way. Um, I think they're twenty five by twenty five. Nope, 30, it's thirty big, by thirty. No, uh, thirty by thirty seven or thirty five okay. or something like that. I guess thirty by thirty. So um, we're gonna have like probably section this off into a room. Yeah. 
Um, but when we hit our $200 Patreon goal, we're going to buy actual lighting. So we don't have to use the lights that are actually hung on the ceilings. And we will put out pictures of those before. I don't really want to put... Okay, before, before we when upgrade we switch, the yeah. When we switch, we'll put out pictures. When we upgrade the lights, we'll put out some good. pictures of good. what's happening. We, I bought frosted shower curtains <laughs> that are hanging in front of lights on the ceiling right now. When we get two hundred dollars a month of Patreon, we will buy actual lights that we can move around and. and we and have uh, one, two, three dollars up right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three dollars. The lights were expensive. The yeah, shower yeah, curtains yeah. were damn near free. <clears throat> all right, thank you, everybody. Cheers to everybody. Yep. Thank you for all the support. Period. Um. Yeah. We'll see. And you hey, guys. we'll see you in a week. See you guys on Thursday. Come hang out on Thursday. Come on Thursday. Shot a BJ battle. Oh. You got a BJ battle on Thursday. I don't I'm not spoiling yeah. anything. Nope, no spoiler. You gotta watch that one. Definitely watch it. All right. No, Thanks, guys. Don't. Have a good night. Thank you again. Cheers, everybody. Maybe I'll go smoke this cigar. I'm going to. Not this one. No, I'm gonna smoke this. Let's do those matches in the garbage so we don't have those anymore. Why? I Did you leave them outside? No, they're great, dude. Oh no, I'm those are awful. fantastic. They're fun. Yeah. You're supposed to do a um, a wood match though. Yeah, they're great. Do you know why? 